Yo, 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 what is up, guys? It has been a very, very long time since I've live streamed, but here we go. We are going to be reacting to some more Darman live streams. This should be very interesting. Hope you got your popcorn ready. Hope you're nice and relaxed. Hope you have everything you need. <clears throat> Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. But before I do, I want to uh, wait for a couple more people to join because <clears throat> I got a message for y'all. I'll probably repeat the message in a couple of minutes because, you know, take some people to join. But yo, your boy, your boy was, your boy was banned, guys. I hope y'all know that. If you don't know that, now you know your boy was banned. Your boy was kicked off of YouTube for like a week. Um, you probably haven't noticed because I've been uploading a lot lately, but it was like end of May to beginning of June. Couldn't upload nothing. I was kicked out of the YouTube Partner Program. Well, let me clarify. I could upload, but like I had no monetization on the entire channel. But your boy is back. I'm back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. I hope you want me bad as ever. Okay. But yeah, that's all I wanted to really say. So thank you to everybody who, you know, supported me during that time. Thank you to everybody who stayed subscribed. Thank you to everybody who sent kind messages to me. Uh, thank you guys so much. Your boy's back. He ain't going anywhere. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this Darman reaction. We got rich parents make kid feel dumb. What happens is shocking. Can't be that shocking. D-E-C. Trying to spell December? Oh, deceive. Wrong. She said wrong. Damn. Already? I just. You're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this can't be I real. You're dumb. <laughs> Let me not say anything, bro. <laughs> I'm like, I know they didn't okay. give that man the, the George Jefferson. Your way out. They need to be signed by your parents. Teacher, what if I don't have Friday. parents? Hey, next time do the reading, dummy. Do people really still bully people? Probably. They got nothing better to do. Damn, he got an F? Another F, Zane. Now you need to stop being lazy and actually apply yourself. You probably have ADD. Zane, if you don't get at least a B on this next test, you will fail seventh grade. I'm not lazy, Ms. Water. Enough excuses. Now get yourself together before it's too late. He probably has like a learning disability or something. I don't get always in the seventh grade. His parents should have held him back. Yeah. He needs to be in the third grade. They just talking mess when he's right there. I mean, what are he gonna do? <laughs> All right, here come, here come the janitor. His name is Wait, Mr. Clifford. I think I'm dumb too. No, not at all. You could be honest with me, Mr. Clifford. Teachers at school think I'm dumb. Kids at school, even my parents. I low key think you're dumb. I'm not, I accepted to. Oh, you got an F, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Dumb, okay? <laughs> the problem with school is that it expects everyone to learn the same way. Mm. The truth is, we're all learning different ways. Mm, that's facts, bro. That's facts. You want, you know, want to know why? Want to know why? Because I learned so much more whenever I would watch like YouTube videos to explain to me. During my whole tenure at college, bro, I swear 80% of every lesson that the teacher spewed at us, I would just go home and watch like a YouTube video by an Indian dude and it would explain to me like 20 times better than the teacher ever did. So damn, bro, I low key went to YouTube university. Why did I even bother going to an actual university when I could have just used YouTube? But yeah, I agree with him. Everybody learns differently. Not everybody learns the same. Joshua Fernandez, thank you so much for being a member for 29 months. That's my boy right there. He said, yo, yo, it's been too long, almost 30 months. I'll see you then. I'll see you for sure. Nathan O, thank you so much for that donation. He said, hola, welcome back, Prince. It's, feels good to be back, bro. Feels good to be back. Are you uh, saying hola from Mexico, from um, Honduras? <laughs> Flaco Tigre, thanks so much for that dono. Can you play Gary's mod on a future stream? I'm actually going to be doing a lot more random live streams, so like that would be the perfect time for me to hop on random games or watch random videos. Swag Mario 64, thanks so much for that dono. Stan Marsh, thanks so much for that dono. He said, Daddy Prince. I don't know if I'm daddy, but you know, some girls do be calling me that. And Mason Perry the Kid, thanks so much for that dono. Can I be your mod? If I see you at the end of the stream, I got you, bro. Let's get back into rich parents make kid feel dumb. You just have to find your truth. 
Mm. I don't even know what that means. Try this. Drugs? The word you were trying to speak um, oh, never mind. was deceive, right? And you got tricked up on the I and E. I do yeah, get tricked up on I and E all the time. I came before E. Right. Except after C. Now, that's the rule to remember. I before E, e except I after C. E except after C. Okay. So, deceive is spelled E E C. E-I-V-E? Damn. You should get your teacher license. That trick is called a mnemonic device. Or two to help you remember. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Clifford. I will never forget that. He gonna go home and forget it. Maybe for E, step out. He gonna home play Roblox and forget everything he just learned. Mr. Van Dyke thinks I'll get an A plus in AP calculus. Oh, brother. Which means I'll be a shoe in for a valedictorian. Wow. We are so proud of you, Brian. I always find it so interesting and watching like now that you're captain, families like this. Uh, just like your father was when he was your it's age. It's so bizarre. Bryant, you make the whole family proud. You want to make me proud, baby girl? Zane, you haven't even touched your salad. Sorry, I'm trying to finish my English homework. Zane, you've been working on that same sheet for the past hour. I mean, how hard can it be? Y'all should probably get him a tutor with all this money that y'all got. No, no, this is all wrong. Can you help me understand then? Uh, I don't have time for that. I got an important business meeting. It's common sense. That's not help. We can talk about this after dinner. I don't want the chicken to get cold. Did you even now, cook it? Salad, I know damn well she didn't cook it. What R do you think rich women do not cook. <laughs> not with that, you're not. That's for that poor is people. your entree fork for the chicken. Now, use your salad fork. Ah, that just brought back so many memories, guys. So many memories. That is an actual thing. Like, especially with rich people, because I went to college for business. I went to college for business. And I actually had to take, it wasn't like a class, but it was like a, you know, a section of the class where we had to learn fine dining for when we take our potential future business partner partners or potential clients out on a business dinner. I had to learn all that. The, the, the soup spoon, the salad fork, the eating fork, the knife, how you're supposed to put the napkin on your lap. Like there's a whole process to it, bro. I just eat. I just be eating, bro. I just eat. Nom, 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 gobble, gobble, gobble. But apparently when you're getting all fancy and classy, you gotta use the right utensil. It's insane, guys. Like, why does it matter? As long as the food goes in my mouth, I should be happy, right? But no, no. Leave it to rich people to overcomplicate everything. Sorry. Elbows, I think. Did I do something else wrong? Your napkin. Oh, okay. And what are you doing with your backpack hanging on the back of the chair? Damn, this Mom. This is not the lunch cafeteria. What's this? Oh, he got an F. Whew! Did you fail another test? Clearly. That's what F means. You have means, got to be joking. It means failed. Hey, you are the son of two USC PhDs. Do you know how embarrassing this is? Ooh. Be more like your brother, brother. His dad on his ass. <laughs> All A's and A pluses. I, I don't know who. I'm sorry, guys. That's all you have to say is that you're sorry? You know, if he doesn't pass seventh grade, we're going to be the laughing stock of the community. Mm hmm. Imagine what all our friends at the country club will think. I'm about. sorry, but how do you not pass seventh grade, bro? <laughs> I'm trying to be nice, but like, nah. That is correct, Jamie. Great job. All right, for our next word, let's do necessary. Ooh, that's a hard one. <laughs> I began that wrong all the time. Or I used to. I can spell it now. This should be good. Business, that one trips me up a lot. N E C. Spell it out, sound it out. C ah! Wrong. Again. <laughs> it has one C. That teacher is so petty. How do you not know that? Wrong. The word that was Again. In last night's reading. I know, I just get my letters mixed up sometimes. You know, I had your brother in my class, and he got an A. Plus. Well, I ain't my brother. I don't know why this is so difficult for you. You know, maybe Zane should be in special ed. <laughs> then again, probably can't keep up there either. Not no wonder y'all. I was about to say a joke that was going to be too far. Zane, I am trying not to be too <laughs> I was going to say, but I am no wonder y'all be bringing stuff to school. Cannot conceive the lesson. <laughs> These bullies Some need to shut their mouth. Bro, shut up. 
fairness, it is a challenging word. Oh, am I did. Conceive. C O N C I E. Oh, is, is Conceive. Unfortunately, I that is does not come from four the E when there's a C. Is C O N C E I V E. Conceive. Let him know. Let him know, little guy. Yeah. Right. Like you can get a word I can't spell. Actually, Zane got it correct. Hell yeah, my Great boy Zane. Good job, Zane. Maybe there still is hope for you after all. Dude. All right. The next word. What? You want to spell it? Me? Don't tell, t talk to me, dude. Mom, you should have seen it. I got an answer right in front of the whole class today. Zane, can't you see I'm on the phone? Yes, I want to go all out for Bryant's graduation party. Let's not spare any. Oh, Bryant is the is the golden child. Know, Zane. He deserves it. Yes, I spoke with his AP physics teacher. And she said, Brian's the smartest student she's ever had. Can you believe it? Woo! I'll be right back. Mm. I can kind of feel what uh, Zane's going through a little bit. Because I do have a very, very, very smart sister. She's like a genius. She, she uh, got the Bill Gates Millennial Scholarship. And essentially what that was is she can go to any college of her choice. As long as she gets accepted into it, Bill Gates will pay for it. So like, you gotta be really smart to get something like that. That is probably the scholarship of all scholarships. Any college you get into, Bill Gates himself will pay for it. That's what my sister got. So, you know, growing up, I did hear the comparisons like, oh, your sister is so smart. Your sister is such a genius. But look at me now. Hey, I'm getting paper. Come on. If there's one thing that parents will accept over intelligence, it's cold hard cash. It's moolah. It's bread. It's buku bucks. Come on now. <laughs> you think my parents care that I didn't get my uh my my master's degree or my doctorate degree? I'm a YouTuber with a million subscribers, bro. Come on now. Money, money talk! Money talk! <laughs> nah, but my sister cool. She's smart. She gonna be a dentist. Hold on, let me read these donations. Y'all being so kind to me. Hilda and Sean, thank you so much for being a member for four months. Hi, Prince. Hope you're having a good day. You as well, Hilda. And Sean, almost forgot about you, Sean. <laughs> BJ Jabez, thank you so much for being a member for a month. He said the janitor looked like Mike Tyson. <laughs> I bet he don't throw hands like Mike Tyson. Super Talents, thank you so much for that dono. You should do a stream of old Darman videos. I could probably do that. Like the title would be reacting to old Darman videos, something like that. And Foxy, thank you so much for that donation. Prince, will you eat to me? Um, I kind of have my quota of eating today already. You know, hit me up next week. Mm -hmm. There's something very special about Bryant. So you better run away. Sees it. He yeah. said, I'm out of here. I'm blowing this popsicle stand. That makes a lot more sense now. I'll see you tomorrow. You're welcome, Matt. Damn, Mr. Clifford over here dropping hey, knowledge. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Good. Couldn't spell the word necessary in class today. <laughs> and it was embarrassing. But then our teacher gave us another word, conceive. I used rule that you taught me, and it worked. Does this kid really talk like this still? There you go, son. I thought, I thought it was because he was like a kid. One collar and two sleeves. Sorry? Here's some more knowledge. You necessary was the word you couldn't spell, right? Just remember, for a shirt, it has to have a collar, C, and two sleeves, S, S. Okay. C, E. S S A R Y. Okay. Never spell that word wrong again. Okay. Now, I'm never gonna spell that wrong either. Now. Is that another one of your mnemonic devices? <laughs> mnemonic devices. Yes. I have a lot more of them too. So whenever it's necessary, come and see me. Why aren't you a teacher, bro? Why are you cleaning toilets? Mr. Clifford, it's okay if I ask you a question. Yeah, ask him why isn't he a teacher? Why are you a janitor? I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But you should be a teacher. You're really good at it. Well, uh, was my dream. But what? what you, you get caught up? I guess life had other plans for me. Why do you say that? I bet I know what happened. You got in some, dr some drugs. Well, I haven't shared this with many people, but I I'll tell it to you. Okay? He had a girl that loved smoking crack. She changed him. I grew up without a father. Oh, I was so off. <laughs> and my mother, by the time I reached 10, she had completely lost her vision. Oh no, that is sad. That is really sad. God, please don't ever take my vision away, bro. Can you imagine a life without seeing big booty hoes, bro? No, 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 it's not a life worth living. Uh-uh. Imagine you can't see some thick old buns on a regular. Ah, 
Oh, you have to imagine it. Oh no, that won't slide. That that that's not that's not uh that's not jiving with me. <laughs> what what does jive mean, bro? <laughs> In spite of all that, I had a pretty good childhood. Every night before going to bed, instead of my mom reading me a bedtime story, I was reading him to her. Oh, that's sweet. Doctor Seuss, the Hardy Boys. <laughs> It's one of my fondest childhood memories. He was reading that Dr. Seuss. I love it, but he was spitting them rhymes at his mom. Quite the blessing. Red fish, blue fish, two fish, fish three grade, fish, four fish, five level. fish, who fish, you yeah. fish. And <laughs> as I grew up, I figured since I enjoyed reading to other people so much, I may as well become a teacher. But unfortunately, it didn't end up working out so well. Why not? I'm sure you can pass all the tests and stuff like that. Well, the test wasn't a problem. The money was. Oh, it's always about the money. It's not cheap becoming a teacher. You have to get a bachelor's degree. That's crazy. That's crazy. You have to take a lot of It's expensive to become a teacher. Expensive. And then they're going to pay you like shit. <laughs> just never able to do it. They're going to pay you into balloons. <laughs> it was my mom's dying wish that I become a teacher. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mrs. Clifford. That's okay. You know, officially, I may not be a teacher. But I figured out a way to help kids. That's why I'm a janitor here. It allows me to still work at the school. And that is a blessing right there. Respect, man. I'm sorry, I don't No, 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 it. it's okay. Zane, what are you doing? Coming. Sorry, Mr. Clifford. I gotta go. Yeah, that sounds pretty necessary. One -E collar, two sleeves. -A -R -Y. Necessary. One collar and two sleeves. Great job. Look at Wait. you, Zane. It's okay if I ask you one final Damn, question. Damn, all these questions. Ms. Waters Curious says, ass. If I get at least a B on my next test, <laughs> I may not go to eighth grade. If it's okay with you, do you mind helping me study for it? Sounds like you should be in fifth grade. I like that very much, Zane. This kid got so many questions. Why kids got so many questions? That can help him learn without making him feel bad. Kids would be like, but why? But why? Mr. Clifford. I don't know. Mr. They'll be like, why is the sky blue? Um, uh, because uh, the the hydrogen and oxygen and air makes a combine and create the color blue. But why? I don't know why. Go ask Sheldon Cooper. And all that patience pays off. Why? He starts doing a lot better in school. <laughs> what am I talking about? <laughs> how far he's gone. Well, Look at him. Almost everyone. Breaking a pencil over a spelling bee? Waters is so surprised with Zane. I thought he was finna pull that Asian but girl. She's gonna be like, of all you're so small. His parents. <laughs> well, how'd it go? He hasn't told me yet. He said he wanted to show us together. Now, Zane, if you didn't get anything higher than a B. I got an A! I got an A! Really? That's what I'm talking about. You got an A! Give your son a pat on the back. See, honey, I knew you had it in you. Their other son finna come home baby. with an A+. Plus. He is our son, after they're, all. They're gonna forget all about Zane. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, if I don't do well in school, I'm not your son. You got it! <laughs> you me? No, why would you say that? Seems like, that seems like you understand it. Everyone treating me like I was... So dumb and a lost cause. It was bad enough hearing it at school every day, but coming home and hearing it from my own parents too? That hurts a lot. I almost started believing in those things about myself too, but luckily I found someone who helped me believe in that. He I'm found he dumb. found he found a black man. I That's what you need in your life. I just learned differently. Same. All I needed was someone to believe in. In me. Yeah, me. All you all care about was how I made you look. You going off bad, right now? Bad. And I don't even know where the salad folk goes. Oh, same. Funny. Oh. <laughs> we are so so sorry. We never meant to make you feel that way. She's right. Zane, we're really truly sorry. Look, we're gonna do better moving forward, okay? Honey, we love you so much. Hey, bro, look at the bright side. You have rich parents. It can't be that bad. I promise that won't happen again. So, tell us who his teacher was. Was it Mrs. Waters? Because we'd like to do something nice. No, he was the janitor. Actually, it wasn't a teacher at all. 
<laughs> it wasn't? Damn, bro. I can never be a janitor. Cleaning up after people? You got me so messed up. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Big old A for awesome. That's what you are, Zane. <laughs> a big old A? <laughs> so nice to meet you. That doesn't mean awesome in my book. Oh, same here. Big ol' A. Big booty, big ol' A. Struggling for so long and I need me a big juicy A right now. Really made a difference. I can't mm. take the credit. I'm just an old janitor helping out when I can. Well, you might just be a janitor. But according to Zane here, you're the best teacher he's ever had. And I think it's time we make it official. What? I'm sorry, I, I'm not following. Make what official? We're going to be paying for your education, Mr. Clifford. All the required. Oh my gosh! Yeah. How, how much did they give him? How much? I don't know what. A blank check? Oh my gosh! They got money. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you know you're rich. If you hand somebody a blank check, just tell them to fill it in. You know, just go ahead and fill it in. Whatever you need, just go ahead and fill it in. Man, Mr. Clifford, bro. Mr. Clifford, you just, you just hit a lick, low key. You just hit a lick. I don't want to call it a lick because he was doing the right thing. But can you imagine? He just taught this kid two words: necessary and deceive. And now he get his education paid for. Hell yeah, you love to see it. We love to see it, Mr. Clifford. You better not spend that money on <laughs> shooting dice and shit, bro. <laughs> <laughs> buying 40s. No one's ever done anything like this for me before. Thank you. Thank you so much. He gonna spend it on a bad bitch. <laughs> you know black people. I know my mama's dancing up in heaven right now. Yeah, she jigging right now. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, bro. That's, that was good. That was good. My boy Clifford. My boy Clifford. He got that education. He gonna go to school, bro. He gotta go to school, man. That's proof for you. It's never too late to get your education and make something better of yourself. And even it wasn't even like he was a bum. He was a janitor. Janitors make money. Janitors can pay their bills. It's just like I don't. I can't imagine anybody who wakes up in the morning and just has a passion to be a janitor. You know, I, I don't think anybody has ever set their dreams to be a janitor. It just happens, you know, because you got me so twisted. If you think I'm finna clean toilets, oh, Prince don't clean toilets. Prince barely like wiping his own ass. You think I'm gonna clean a toilet? Come on now. All right. <laughs> what the hell am I saying, bro? Ah, we gotta read these donations. <laughs> uh, Jay, thank you so much for that donation. Flocko Tigre with another dono. You're my favorite YouTuber. Well, you're one of my favorite viewers because you're blessing me right now. Your boy needed that blessing. I got kicked off of YouTube for a whole week. Do y'all know how much money I lost during that week? Jeez, man. No wonder YouTubers post every day, bro. Because if you don't, golly, how are you going to pay your rent? Cheeto, thanks so much for that donation. You said, where are the Cheetos? It's actually downstairs in my pantry. I would go get it, but I'm on a roll right now. I don't feel like getting up. The Mobile Games, thanks so much for that dono. Hey, Prince, hope you're having an amazing day. I'm having an awesome day. Hope you're having an awesome day as well. Uh, Super Mario Gabriel, thank you so much for being a member for 10 months. Make me head staff in CS. I'll upgrade my membership. What's CS? In the server? I don't know, but Super Mario Gabriel, you be in my streams all the time. I'm going to go ahead and make you... Uh... I'm going to go ahead and make you a head staff. Oh, wait, it doesn't do it no more. Oh, no, no, there we go, there we go. All right, you're now a uh, managing moderator. Is that cool with you? Perfect. Uh, <clears throat> Undy, thank you so much for that dono. He said they have black men here now. <laughs> so thank you so much for that dono. Welcome back, man. By the way, did you see the new Sp Spider-Man movie? No, I have not seen the new Spider-Man movie yet. Um, don't spoil it for me, but honestly, like, I'm not in a rush to see it. Yo, the last Marvel movie that I've watched... I think it was Eternals. I think Eternals was the last Marvel movie that I watched. I have not seen um, Black Panther, have not seen the new Thor, or it's not even new no more, have not seen Guardians of the Galaxy, have not seen Spider-Man movie, 
I'm so I'm so behind on Marvel. I don't really care though, you know? It's not the same no more. Tyler Hackner, thank you so much for being a member for six months. Love you too, bro. And thank you so much for gifting a membership. Love you, homie. Lil Jimmy, thank you for that dono. He said, what's up, Prince? Charmy, what's up, Lil Jimmy? Patrick Gaming said, Prince, was you annoying as a kid? Uh, honestly, I would say yes. I feel like most people are annoying when they're younger. It's not until when you're older and then you start realizing like the true meaning of life and how you should treat people. You know, St. Fisuto, thanks so much for paying your late fee. Remember, guys, if you are late to my live stream, you got to pay that late fee. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. And last but not least, we got a video man member for 31 months. I think that's the record on the channel. He said, I feel bad for janitors, especially in middle school bathrooms. Yeah, because you middle schoolers will destroy the bathroom. Y'all will, y'all will host fight sessions in the bathroom. Y'all get haircuts in the bathroom. Y'all will take a big steamy hot pile of shit and not flush it. Y'all have no respect for the janitors, man. No respect at all. All right. Up next, we got famous TikToker saves dying business. What happens is shocking. 15, 16, 17. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Luigi's Pizza. Hi. Let me know if you have any questions. Actually, I'm trying to be good. I think I'll just do a salad from Sweet Greens. Girl, if you're gonna order a salad, I'm not about to eat pizza. Why are women feel so guilty? Why are women like this? Why are women like this, yo? <laughs> Sorry, I'm already pausing it, but I gotta go off of it. <laughs> yo, my girl actually got mad at me one time because I wasn't hungry, but she was, right? Because she asked me, you know, oh, um, are you hungry? When a girl asks you if you're hungry, she doesn't care if you're hungry. That means she's hungry and she wants some food, so feed her. So I wasn't I wasn't really that hungry. And I guess this is where I messed up because I knew this. I knew you're never supposed to tell a girl who asks you if you're hungry that you're not hungry. I know I knew this, but I really wasn't hungry. I told her I wasn't hungry. She got upset at me. Why can't girls eat by themselves? And I wasn't even going to make her eat by them herself. I was going to take her to a restaurant and I was going to, you know, snack on some appetizers, maybe some chips and queso while she'll eat her food. But no, she threw a whole fish. She's like, oh, I just don't want to eat if you're not eating. I was like, well, I'm going to eat. I'm just not going to, you know, get a main entree, not going to get a main dish. Man. All right. Enough of me ranting. <laughs> women women are, 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 are tricky people. They're confusing, but... It's all worth it once they bust it open. <laughs> it is. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. Sorry about that. That's okay. Bye. If one again gets a salad, they all gotta get a salad. Dad, do you think that maybe you could sign me up for ballet lessons? I mean, I really wanna learn. You ain't got no money. I don't think we can afford it right now. But one day. The piece will look dry as hell. Yeah. No wonder y'all can't afford none. Oh no. No, 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 no! Natalie, what's wrong? My laptop shut off on me again. That laptop I thick as hell. My work. She got that fat laptop. Could you please buy me a new one? I mean, this one is <gasps> so old, and I I really need a computer to do my English work. You know the situation, honey. That's a laptop I had in middle school. I take you to the library <laughs> after we close, and for now, you can work on something else. All right. Hello. What, what is he Welcome up to? to? Luigi's Pizza. Thanks. Can I have a slice of your pepperoni? Sure thing. Let's see how this pepperoni looking. Yeah. You know what the crazy part is? I would still eat that though. Yes. Real niggas know <laughs> you, you still gonna eat that. You gonna eat it right in front of him? Mm. Okay. Wow. This tastes like shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm not just saying that. Hey yo, comment the best comment the best pizza Actually, to you. To me by my dad. You know what? I'm gonna do a real quick poll real quick. Cause I need to know. Me and my friend, uh, we we got in this argument about which one is the best out of all three. Pizza Hut, Domino's, and Papa John's. So I'm finna make this poll right now. Pizza Hut, Domino's, and uh Papa John's. A. I want y'all to comment in this poll. Which one's the best? I'll tell y'all my answer after this poll, bro. I don't want y'all picking the answer just because it's my favorite. Go ahead and vote in that poll, guys. I need to know. Because me and my friend got in this heated argument over some pizza. 
Out of all those three, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Papa John's, which one is the best? Which one are you eating? Which one are you ordering to come to your house, man? I need to know. I need to know. <laughs> oh, why that poll goes on? You just got to add it right now, so I'm going to skip it back a bit. Ooh. I mean, that pizza look like... Yes, it's old, and yes, it's, you know, a little uh, dusty, but real ones will still eat it. Real ones will still munch that pizza up. I'm a munch. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I am not a munch. I don't I don't need to tell lies out here. Mm. Wow. Everyone who's saying Little Caesars, y'all must have struggled growing up. Thanks. It's a family <laughs> recipe. <laughs> Actually taught to me by my dad. Y'all drank sink All water, didn't y'all? Mm. <laughs> so, you're Luigi. Wow, nice to meet you. I'm Heath. Can't believe I never heard of your shop before. Well, we don't get too much foot traffic. Have you heard of his today. brother? I'm Mario! Not good at marketing, so it's been a bit of a struggle. The only struggle you should have is keeping up with all the demand of how good this food is. I wish. My dream is to open a real Italian restaurant like my dad. Ooh. Like, everything is so expensive in LA. I thought I'd open a, a little shop and see it grow, but things haven't actually gone according to plan. Sorry to hear that. He's like, what do you want me to do about it? Oh no, he's gonna do something. Well, he got chicken? Oh, say less. Sell them in sixes. That's all right. That'd be too much. And you know what? He said, I know how much you love wings. He says, good though. Here. <laughs> no, no. On the house. Mm, no, no, no. You don't have to do all that. No, no. It's fine. It's not like anyone else is actually coming anyway. And you might as well give me the six right. then. <laughs> give me the entire six I'm then. The six, yeah, six, 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 six. It's on the house. All right. So wings and ranch for free. Service here is off the charts. People like this, I do respect their service. Because if you charge me for ranch, no, I'm just going to give you that amazing. look. I'm going to give you that wow. look. Boy, you did not eat nothing. No Get ya! You Fair just ate the sauce. breading. Who are you fooling? You know you want to take a big monstrous bite out of that. Like you taking a bite out of crime, bro. You black! Eat it, eat it like you normally would. <laughs> He's trying to contain himself. He said, I can't be eating chicken like this in front of all these white folks. No wings, it's okay, bro. Wow. Embrace it. I rate this a solid 9.5. I rarely rate anything higher than a 9. You don't rate your girl higher than a nine? Dad, I finished my math homework. Can you work on something else, honey? All I have left is my English work, and this computer's not turning on, and you said we can't really afford to buy a new one. I don't know what I said! <laughs> I'll help you when I'm done. Sorry about that. Where were we? One second. Moving on up. Fine. To the sorry, east side. Louis, but I'm in a hurry. I don't have time for small talk. Whoa. We have the rent. Oh. Not yet. Oh, but this this is the guy. A little more time. There is no time. This is the landlord. I'm all I can. Can we talk about this later? The time. This man looked like he got a, a balloon, <laughs> rubbed it on his shirt to get electric, <laughs> stack electricity, and just put it on top of his head, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm not even gonna lie, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I would keep it too. I would keep it too. Cause it. <laughs> No, nah, I would have to keep it. Ain't no way in hell I'm gonna shake that. It really look like George Jefferson. Fuck no, bro. I respect it. I would keep it too. I would keep it too, man. You gotta hold on to your hair. All right. That's the end of the poll. It looks like Domino's is the winner. Looks like Domino's won the poll. I agree with that. Domino's is better than Pizza Hut, and Pizza Hut is better than Papa John's. If you eat Papa John's, I'm just gonna assume you eat booty as well. Because clearly, clearly you have no uh, standards for yourself. You're eating booty pizza, you might as well eat the real thing. You might as well. <laughs> I've given you all I can. Can we talk about this later? Does the shop phone still forward to yourself? I'll call later. But you've had more than enough chances. They called him Einstein. <laughs> Thanks, Bill. Have a nice day. <laughs> call that man Einstein. Uh, don't worry, honey. Everything's okay. Albert Sorry Einstein. That, that was, uh, Nana that was, uh, giving me free that was Lil Al. Yeah. Lil yeah. Al. Yeah. <laughs> Young Einstein. <laughs> That's a bum, clearly. Give me a second, Max. See what I mean? Well, it's not like I can sell it anyway. Oh, he just keeps and giving me stuff out for free. For free, then have the food go to waste. 
That's a bad business model. To say, the kindness you put into the world always comes back to you. Hopefully that one day it turns out to be true. Damn, you a hater ass daughter. I think I have an idea. You guys open on the weekends? Seven days. All right, well, I've got a little surprise for you. This Saturday, my friend, it's gonna be the best day of your life. Promise that. Thank you guys so much for the service. The food is amazing. Luigi, I'll see you this weekend, man. You're welcome. Thanks for coming in. Come on in, Max. At least Max waited his turn, bro. Respect. I mean, but I do think it's a bad business hey, model. Guys, you can't be giving out, out stuff for free you if you're struggling. Luigi's pizza. Food, amazing. And the service, just as good. I'm actually here right now if you guys want to... Oh, wow. There's people here. I can't even believe it. Oh, no way. It's Heath Glee. Yo, I'm your biggest fan. I just left work to get here. Hey, I'm on TikTok Live. Y'all say what's up. Hey. How y'all liking the pizza? <laughs> <laughs> that was so quiet. Hey. One more time, one more time. Hey, I'm on TikTok Live. Y'all say what's up. Hello. How y'all liking the pizza? Fire, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on TikTok Live. Y'all say what's up. Hey, Mom. <laughs> How y'all liking the pizza? Fire, right? <laughs> y'all not try that? How about the wings? Those are just as good. Did y'all not try the food? This place is closed. It has an eviction notice on it. Oh. Yeah, what? Uh, sorry about that, guys. I'll tap back in. I'm going to see what's up. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of you as always. Damn, bro. He just needed one more day. You're the landlord, right? Where's Luigi? You saw the sign. You got evicted this morning. Okay, no, no, you don't understand, okay? He, he just needed the weekend to work things out. <clears throat> Look at all those people out there. And there's more coming to buy his food. He Hell yeah, food. let him he open up again. A couple of days would change anything. Uh, hey boss, what do you want me to do with this? Oh, I can take that to him. Get rid of it. Damn, he can't take it to him? Oh my gosh. Right. Why do I get out of him? Look, I... That man look like he's the president of the NAACP. If I call in the restaurant, it should forward to his phone. <clears throat> Thanks. He looks like he he calls the young kids cats. <laughs> What's up, young cat? <laughs> <laughs> Who FaceTimes unknown? I am not answering that. Hello? Hey, Luigi. It's Heath. We met at your pizza shop. <laughs> yes. I remember you. Hey, I came back like I said, and I brought Damn, you Luigi, your, your phone scratched yeah. to hell. You let Wolverine use it? I'm sorry, but I had to close my shop down. It's over, Heath. It's over. I, I put every last dollar in that shop. No, no, don't say that, okay? It's not over. It's just the beginning. Let me ask you something. Do you believe in God? Okay, I do too. I believe God is going to help you get through this. Aww. You just got to keep making pieces, all right? Respect. Thanks, Heath, but... If you don't believe in God... I wanted to. I'm not gonna force you to, but have a place to make pizza. I'll let you know. It's pretty nice. It's a good feeling. I remember I asked God to. I'm <laughs> probably gonna think this like, ridiculous. What? I was like in the first grade. Why? And I had a crush I on a girl. You, this Saturday was gonna be the best day of your life. And uh, we didn't sit by each other. We're in the same class, but we didn't sit That's by each happens, other. Okay? I went home that night and prayed to God for God to move us. So we sat next to each other. That way I could talk to her. Very next day. The teacher randomly moved us next to each other. I'm pretty sure I told that story before. But that's how you know it's true. Because I'd be repeating my stories. That's how you know it's true. Because they don't change. You really showed <clears throat> up. I'm a man of my word. And I've got a few surprises for you. Is your daughter home? What you want, what, what you want my daughter for? Come here. He said this agreement has a clause. Oh my God! You got her a laptop? I uh, overheard you guys' conversation in a pizza shop, man. I felt You're, really bad. Wow, he's not even tapping that. That was really out of the kindness of his heart. What else you get her? Look at all this stuff, Dad. I mean, we don't even have to go to the library anymore. Thank you, thank you so much. I can't believe you got all that stuff for her. <laughs> it's much better for me. I don't know if I saw it, but that couldn't be me. Why don't you both come with me? I could do the second part right here, Not you know. Come on. I'm gonna get a random girl I don't know a laptop. It's my place. Ugh. He moved quick. 
Father, you are bringing your daughter over to this man's place. It's basically like you're like delivering your daughter with a bow. What's going on? So I guess you didn't know I was a popular food critic on TikTok. 15 million followers. Oh my God. Each one of them saw the video I posted, my review for your restaurant. Oh, he's All supposed to be, diet. he's supposed to be Keith Lee. And I just got the it. Store closed down. So that's why we got all the people here to help you cook and pizza ovens to help get deliveries going. All the ingredients are already here. Yeah, and there's more supplies on the way. Wow. I can't believe this. You're gonna let him operate at your own crib believe though? It. Respect. Orders are still coming in, minute by minute. Wow. With this many orders, I think we may need to look for more help. No, 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 I got you. Okay, you just focus on making these incredible pizzas, all right? Yeah, what you have to say now, daughter? Wasn't you just hating? Hey, hey guys, thank you so much for ordering. We actually got pieces right here in the oven. You just need people to help out. Get them in the street. You're out in LA, you wanna help us get some pizza? Wow, being an influencer must be amazing. Yes. You I can damn near brainwash your followers to do anything to for you. Crazy, right? Oh, and if you see Heath, tell him I am a huge fan. Girl, he don't want you. He got he got hoes in different area codes. <laughs> get in line. Everybody wants the Heath of Heath up. Lee. You were right, Heath. <laughs> I know this man was in the cartel. Look how he rolling up his money. <laughs> that's how drug law, that's how drug people roll up their yeah. money. You were right. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. I can't thank you enough for everything. I should have enough to clear all the rent and get my shop back. No, 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 forget that old shop. And we're not looking backwards, only forward. Plus, I got one more surprise for you. you know, all of these surprises, man, right? I don't think I can handle anything more. Oh, yeah, yes, you can. One more, I promise. Mm, what? One more. Did you give me a brand new car? <laughs> you know, I can handle that. <laughs> what is it? Your Italian restaurant? Wow. Woo! This place is beautiful. This is exactly the kind of place I want to own one day. Well, you do Good. own it. Good. Because... A few Enjoy. months later, all right. How is everything? Okay, she found herself a man. She said, who needs Heath Lee? The best pizza I have ever had. Thank you. Who needs Heath Lee when you have a... How is everything? When you have a... a Michael C. Jordan. <laughs> he looks like Michael the B. Jordan. The best pizza I have ever had. Thank you. I see business is going good. It's all thanks to you. You have really changed my life. Our lives. I'm sure your father will be proud. Which brings me to why I'm here. I have a little surprise. It's the last one, I promise. Always with these surprises, man. I just wanted to... Oh, I forgot the picture. He kept it. I have my ways. I have no idea how I'm gonna repay you for everything. You can repay me on a loan of uh, a two years. And some wings. Uh, five percent. <laughs> boy came here to eat, starving. Have a seat. I will be right with you. Man, I can go for a pizza right now, bro. He is so gonna hit that, bro. Come on. He is so gonna hit that. I mean, you could have hit it cheaper you didn't have to buy her dad a whole damn store and her a laptop and then this and that and that and then this there's cheaper ways to get it but you know if you got money like that why not i guess i don't know about y'all bro but i can't i i can't pay for it i can't i can't i really can't it's it's an ego thing to me y'all understand it right like the second you start paying for it it's like you a lame. You're a lame ass guy if you got to pay for it. There is a difference when you just want to skip all of the steps and you know what you want. You just want to get straight to the home run and that's it. You don't want to talk. You don't want to go on. To, like If you don't want to, you want to skip all that, maybe I can understand. But people who can only get to home base through that method, you're a lame. I'm sorry, bro. Y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. Y'all too young. All right, let me read some of these donations off. Y'all being so nice to me. 
Patrick Gaming, thanks so much for that donation. He said, can you do a live of SML? I don't know what I would stream though, because I damn near reacted to all of their videos. No joke. Voses Drip, thank for that uh, thank for that donation. Santiago McCormick, he said, when are you going to get back into gaming? I'm probably going to get back into gaming tomorrow. I was thinking about doing a Fortnite live stream. That would be interesting, especially with the new update they did. Or I can do, uh, finally, I can start Wolf of, uh, I was going to say Wolf of Wall Street, the Wolf Among Us. OG, OJ, it nom. Thanks so much for that donation. What happened to finished? What do you mean to finished? What's finished? Bobby, thanks so much for that donation. Yo, Prince, first donation of many. Love what you do. Love you too, bro. Thank you so much. Void, thanks so much for that don donation. And Mason Perry, the kid, thank you for that donation. <clears throat> All right, next up on the list, we got... Uncle sends bad kids to foster care. What happens is shocking. Let's see how bad these kids really are. Let's see if they demon children. Demon children. Demon children. And I got demon children. Where are the little rascals? Oh, they were just here literally a second ago. Fire! Oh, Kendall! Tyler, that is not how you greet our guests. Please apologize to your Uncle Jake right now. We're sorry. Deja's right. You know, you should be sorry. Sorry for starting a war. Oh, he's the cool uncle. I get it. <laughs> that girl on the green got some, the got some, got some niash. It's like nothing has changed, and my little bro is still one big kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that man got serial killer energy. He he reminds me of a uh, who's that guy? Norman Bates. Is that his name? <laughs> From American Psycho. He looked like he like everything clean. If one stain is on his shirt or whatever. And you're responsible for the laundry, you're dead. Oh, it's still one big kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Speaking of changes, has Jake gotten any closer to, you know? Who knows? Oh, she's well, waiting for him coming, to propose. And he keeps saying he's gonna propose. 12 years? I don't know. And he, might be <laughs> he a musician better. too. <laughs> don't marry a musician. Are you a stupid I girl? Donuts for dessert. They know how much you love them, Molly. Oh, thank you. You're so thoughtful. Oh, mustard really in your spaghetti? Ask. It's the only way they eat spaghetti. <laughs> that is disgusting. So, Jake, how's work going? Are you I know y'all toilet be going crazy. Warehousing company? No way, Jose. That was like three jobs ago. Yeah, stocking shelves is way beneath me. Mm-hmm. What? If it were up to you, I'd still be a corporate slave with no time to work on my music. <laughs> hey, you know how close I am to finishing up my demo for the record label. Oh my god. This is why you don't date a, music a musician. <laughs> I'm not trying to be unsupportive of your music. Oh, he's finna he's finna talk shit. Sometime, man. Woo! He's right. And the only way to grow is by taking responsibility. I mean, you're still with him though, so. You're still with him though, so. <laughs> Wait, what did he drop? Oh. <laughs> Clumsy ass. Okay, well, if that's what taking responsibility looks like, I think I'm good. You. The crazy part is, the crazy part is, she only has herself to be mad at. Yo ass is the one that's been dating him for 12 years. 12 years? 12 years? And you still don't realize he's a bum? I don't feel bad for you. I don't even, I don't, I can't even blame the guy. Look, if you are able to bag a chick and you're a bum and you're able to keep her around for 12 years, she's a bum too. I don't care what she does for a living. If she's willing to be with a bum for 12 years plus with no ring or nothing, no prospects for the future, nothing at all, no hope. I don't feel bad for you at all. Not a bit. Well, I mean, I'm trying out for the basketball team. Sprinkle, sprinkle. Nice. <laughs> been practicing day and night. And Tyler's been working on getting his grades up since his report card came back with some interesting letters. Don't worry, buddy. I didn't do that well in school either. And uh, look how well I turned out, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Don't fist bump that. Oh, come on, are you what? kidding? What? What? In some cultures, that's considered a compliment. I think Asian cultures, no. Oh, shoot. I totally forgot the PTA meeting is tonight. I thought she forgot to take her. In Thirty minutes. She forgot to take her birth control. On, Women be having an alarm for that. Can't miss another one. Well, we don't mind watching the kids if you guys gotta go. Wait, what, Molly? No, 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 no. I'm not a, I'm not a babysitter. 
Okay, and I was supposed to record tonight. <laughs> he got to record his tunes, man. You gotta respect the tunes, man. I just wanna rock and roll, dude. Uh, he drinks IPAs. Oh, you're so lame. Where are they? They were supposed to be back like an hour ago. It's so rude not to at least call. I mean, you're drinking all their beers, so, you know, can't be too mad. She's like, how did I end up with this guy? Whoa, is what? Is the residence of Madam Dejer Shepherd? Whoa, 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 whoa. Are the parents dead? No way. Their parents got smoked? Or a car crash? What? Damn! Day to celebrate the lives of Matthew and Deja Shepherd. Damn, bro. They got cooked. They got cooked, simply put. They were taken from us too soon. Life cooked they ass. Life was uh, playing uh, Cookie Mama. You remember that game, Cookie Mama? Thanks for coming by on such short notice. And I am uh, truly sorry for your loss. <laughs> Looks like the will that Matt and Deja had drawn up a few years ago names you as... Kyle and Kendall's guardian. Ooh! Now, why would you do that to me? Why would you do that to me? Why are you gonna have me as the guardian? I think that's because, like, he's the brother of, you know, uh, the it's their uncle by blood. So I guess that's why he has a uh, guardianship. But you're going to put in your will that your brother, who has been an artist slash musician for 12 years, no solid job, always living from paycheck to paycheck, should take care of your kids? Hell no, don't put me in your will if you're gonna do that. I thought you were gonna give me some money. You gave me kids? I don't want that. Can I return it? <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the will office and be like, can I return these kids? I thought I was gonna get money. Not not expenses, the hell? There's no way. No, 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 I, I can't take care of two kids. I feel you, bro. Plan a funeral, that's more than enough. This guy looks like he would not let me date his daughter. <laughs> foster. To turn them over to the state, and they would be put in foster care. Ah, oh, they'll be all right. I hear foster care be kind of chill, no. bro. That's not happening. We're you get like ten brothers and sisters. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. I know it's a bad thing. It's a good thing he's not doing it. Can you fix that painting? It's bothering me. Oh, you have a messy apartment. Got it. Hey, I know it's not as big as what you're used to, but until we find something bigger, you guys can stay in the bedroom and Jake and I will take an air mattress out here. Okay? Make yourselves at home. Nah, low-key, they stay on the air mattress and I'm staying in my bed. Whoa, buddy. Hey, hey, not there. That's my tunes, man. You don't yeah, mess with the tunes. Station, got it? My demo was on there. <laughs> Can I get you guys anything? He's had that demo for years. Oh my gosh. Hey. Anybody up for a Nerf war? <laughs> Bro, their parents are dead. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I know your, your parents are dead, but you want to do a Nerf war? That's the last thing they want to do. Can you guys give us a sec? Actually. Ah, uh, get ready for the nagging. Oh, she gonna nag your ass off, bro. Here it come, here it come. Where were you? The kids were waiting at school for over an hour. Oh, shoot. I forgot, I'm sorry. You forgot? What if I couldn't answer my phone? What if I was stuck in a meeting? What would have happened? How did the meeting with the realtor go? He didn't even do that either. Um, Jeez, man. This is your man? What? This is your Why king? Would you do that? This is who we you're can't dating? We fit in this apartment, Jake. We have to get a bigger place. Just, just give me a sec to explain. We can okay. fit under those cakes you got. I also quit my job because... Again? You've only been there three weeks. I know. I know. But honey, that's only because 
I got a meeting with an exec who wants to hear my demo next week, honey. We all know a woman like this. Every one of us. I don't know. Maybe y'all aren't old enough. Y'all aren't at that age yet. But we, I know plenty of women like this who can do so much better for themselves. So much better. But they just continue to date these bums, man. What do these bums have? Do they be laying down the pipe exquisitely? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. Because I can't possibly think of any other reason i can't i can't I, I don't know why 12 years this guy has not had a solid job and has been working on his demo no prospects is she still with him hey city boys city boys <laughs> city boys we up we up simply put if when that meeting goes well not only will i never have to work but we can buy a house, Molly. Molly, I mean, Molly, forget Molly. about renting. Plus, I'll be able to-, to City boys? <laughs> no, no, the, the, the opposite, actually. If my music gets picked up, I'll have even less time. So who's gonna take care of Kendall and Tyler? Well, I thought you could. I don't know, I, I didn't think about that. Mm. Of course. Molly, I was in a really good mood. Before you came in here and ruined everything, Ooh. I didn't ask for this responsibility. Ooh. Oh, and you think I did? You know what? I gotta go to work because some people take their responsibilities seriously. Oh, she calls you a broke boy. She said you ain't nothing but a broke boy, 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 broke boy, broke. Oh, she's trying to hoop. Uncle G, do you have time to help me out with basketball trials? Girl, yeah. I'll cross your ankles. Can you please help me study for cross your ass over, Hezzy. <laughs> but Dad always helps. Hit well, you I'm not your dad. Okay? Oh, oh. You're not my dad. You always want to hear something. Ugly ass fucking noodle head. <laughs> you can't hoop, girl. What is all that racket? Kendall, what are you doing playing with that in the apartment? You could break something. And Tyler, what'd I say about my laptop? I have a history paper. I have to research I don't care what you're supposed to research. My demo was on there. Now give it. But if I don't research this, it'll fail. I failed history in school and the world didn't end. Now give it. Okay, yeah, you're not gonna fight over my laptop, bro. <laughs> you're out of this house right now. <laughs> it's one thing. My demo. To say no, but to fight over my laptop? Do you realize? much work I put into this. That's 12 years down the drain. It's gonna be what finally got me a record deal. And I have no other backup. I'm That's sorry. your dumbass fault. No backup? Don't be mad, Uncle Jake. Everyone makes mistakes. The only mistake You always gotta I back that back up. ...was agreeing to taking care of you two. Now pack your bags. I'm doing what I should have done in the first place. Send you to Find foster care. and actually take care of you. Who wants to take care of you? You're all we have left. Mom and Dad, you- I don't know what your parents were thinking. Okay, Kendall. I'm not your dad, <laughs> and you're not my kid. Okay, Kendall. And I'm definitely not ready for all the responsibility that comes with that. I can respect what he's saying, no, though. Really like, like, he did not ask for no. any of. Ooh. Move. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Little German boy can put some bass in his voice. Okay. I can respect kind of what he's saying. You know, like, realistically speaking, bro, he did not ask for this. Clearly, the way he was living his life was like, you know, he didn't want kids. He never wanted that kind of responsibility. But something unfortunate happened and it just landed on his lap. That's life, right? Life just happens. So I do think it would be wrong to get rid of your nieces and nephews, especially if they're related by blood. Like those are your sister or your brother's kids. Like you got to take care of them. You can't send them to foster care. But at the same time, he didn't want these damn kids. He didn't want them. He never asked for them. So like to expect him to so quickly adjust to this living situation is kind of ridiculous. You feel me? I got your back. I got your back, a little drummer boy. Jake, we promise we'll be better. I'll never touch your laptop ever again. Yeah, and I don't even have to try out for the basketball team if he makes you that mad. I'm sorry, guys, but I just wasn't cut out for this. I didn't sign up to be a dad. Look, it doesn't mean we can't still see each other. I can still visit you sometimes and be your Uncle Jake. Yeah, don't bother. Okay, now I'm not coming. Now I'm not coming. Oh, yeah, now I'm really not coming. I'm really not going to bother, just like you said. <laughs> Let's see who can not bother longer. I bet I'll win that. 
What Here, happened to your laptop? She's still cooking him I food. I it on the floor and it wasn't turning on, but then I fixed it, so it works now. <laughs> Are you serious? So it was never broken? Mm, yeah. Where are the kids? I'm making pasta. Oh, she ain't making food for you. <laughs> she making she making it what for the mean? kids. <laughs> uh, don't get mad. But I dropped them off at CPS. You what? I had to. All their stuff lying around everywhere, using my things without asking. They were causing <laughs> fights between us, Molly. <laughs> Tyler even broke my laptop. Or at least I thought he did. They were ruining our lives, Molly. And what about their lives, Jake? They just lost their parents, your brother and sister-in-law. And what, you just threw them away? Like you do everything else? I'll throw you away next. Keep talking like that. You can't commit to anything. You refuse to hold down a job. You refuse to get rid of this apartment. That's where this is coming from. The fact that she still don't got a ring on her finger. That is why she's so upset. Wow. She is making it about herself. Y'all y'all realize this? She's making it about herself. She don't give a damn about those kids. She's mad. She still got a ring. <laughs> I see right through you. I see right through you. She's just mad she ain't got a ring. She don't give a damn about these kids. She don't give a damn about his demo. She she give a damn what about the ring she don't got. What is that? Supposed listen, to? listen, listen. You can't commit to anything. There it is right there. You down a job. You refuse to get rid of this apartment and let go of your bachelor pad. And you know what? After all this time, you won't even propose. Mm. I told you. I'm just waiting for my music career to take uh -oh. off. And then I'll buy you the it's biggest... It's been 12 years, Jake. It's never going to take off. You know what? Neither is this relationship. It took you 12 years to realize that? I can't do this anymore. I can't. After 12 years? What? Now no. you can't do it? <laughs> Mom, you can't just leave me like that. You can't just leave me like that! This guy's this guy is kind of a sociopath. He probably thought she would never leave him. Oh, they'll never leave you until they leave you. So what do you think? He said that shit was ass. Get the hell Listen. out of my office. Security! Music's good. <laughs> But if I'm being honest, this isn't the sort of thing that I'm looking for right now. Oh, you want someone who can, who can rap. But hey. Come on, Jack Harlow. At least you still got your day job, right? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have quit that, homie. This man, that one guy said, when are you showing your leg hair? I don't grow leg hair. I don't have hair on my legs. It's very, very, very light. I'm not a hairy guy at all. I don't have arm hair, barely have face hair. Oh, this is his music? Let's hear it, guys. Okay, he got his kids back. Okay. Okay. Now you just gotta get your girlfriend back too. She'll be back. Bro, you don't just leave someone after 12 years and not, you know, still like them, bro. That's impossible. 12 years? Let's work on this demo. Oh no, he's getting a real job. Wow. This man, Melo Block said, this fire on mute. <laughs> hilarious wow bro did she block your ass so she read his message yesterday at 5 23 p.m or maybe he just delivered it she didn't read it damn you're gonna get her back come on she ain't going nowhere she is not going anywhere come on wish you were here just quadruple texted her Don't let her, don't let her put you on skates. Nah, ain't no free shots in my court, bro. I don't care if you're a kid. I'm saying that shit to the other side of the planet. I'm rejecting that. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no, no, he didn't get the job, but like, at least he went to the interview. You know, good luck, bro. Maybe do something with the Justin Bieber haircut. Oh, no, he did get the job. 
He did get the job. Wow, look at his life. He on the come up. Okay, now you just need your girl back. You just need your female. This man got a red rover. <laughs> or a red rocket. <laughs> red rocket, red rocket. I thought that was Molly. I was like, damn, how long have y'all broken up? <laughs> how long has it been? <laughs> Bro, get your Grace Anatomy outro music. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> this sounds like something you'll hear on the CW. On oh, effing uh, Riverdale. <laughs> this is this is some music they'll play on This Is Us. <laughs> I did it! I got an A! Seriously? Nice work, Tyler. He a whole daddy Woo! now. <laughs> you know what? I think this is fridge worthy. Whoa! Whoa! Damn, R.I.P. to your brother and her, his girl. Mister, don't you? And the last thing his brother said to him was like, her, texting her. "You need to grow up." I have, but she won't. Uh... Whoa! Looks like I'm grown and you're six feet Sorry, under. That. <clears throat> that was cold. Sorry, guys. That wasn't funny. That was not funny. Okay, they trying to get his girl back. Okay. Hey, guys, you said it was an emergency. Is everything okay? <laughs> what in the parent trap? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> he let you go, Molly. You're his choice of drug. He loved him some Molly. Times call for desperate measures. Please have a seat. If Three minutes. I only need What's two. That? Well, first, I'd like to tell you that other than having the kids already, I got a job. I've already been there for two months, going on three. And. You know what's crazy? Her lesson in all of this is going to be, if you want your man to do something, break up with his ass, dump his ass. Why is that the case? Why is that the case? A lot of times in relationships, people don't change until they get their ass dumped. For example, hitting the gym. It's insane to me. People don't think about hitting the gym when they're already in a relationship. When, you know, when they already have somebody who likes them, they ain't gonna hit the gym. They already like me. What the hell am I gonna hit the gym for? But the second they uh, get dumped, oh, now it's all about health, body, mind, this, that. I gotta go to the gym. I gotta eat right. I'm doing this for me. Dick, you <laughs> you doing this because your ass is single. Your ass got dumped, and you need to make sure you, you know, can scoop up another one. I even have my own business card. See, hmm. extra hands LLC. Shelves was beneath you. Well, technically, I'm not stocking shelves since I'm the warehouse manager. But even if I was, that'd be fine too, because I'm willing to do whatever it takes. She's five two. So who's picking up and the kids I while you're at work? It's such a long two. Actually, uh, it's not uh, that far uh, anymore. Uh, uh, because we moved. They got a house. Got a nicer place now. He got a job. He got a house. Girl, he on the come up. Wow. I'm shocked. You better take him back. I can't believe you're making all these changes. Well, it took some time to adjust. You know, I may not have the rock star lifestyle that I imagined or the dream house and it does take a lot of work taking care of two kids you know sometimes you gotta let the dreams go bro point, yeah at some point you realized you gotta let it go i have to grow up yep and as a wise person once told me luckily i never have to grow up if you want to grow you have to take responsibility mm. really a wise man you, pretty sure it was a, a wise woman Molly, I have the job. I got the house. I feel like she's gonna say no. I even have the kids. She's gonna be like, I don't want you to propose to me like but this. There is one thing missing. And that is you. Oh, did he make her a song? Oh my God. Not that funny, 
Daddy, it's, it's because... <laughs> it's because, like, this man that go open up his laptop, like, yeah, this this gonna do it. <laughs> this gonna do it. <laughs> he was so confident. Look at him, look at him. This man just got done with Fruity Loop Studio. He said, this the one. <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, I did that, girl. <laughs> let me listen to the song. Let me, let me stop laughing and listen. <laughs> Look at him. He's like, mm hmm. Mm hmm. Wait, 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 wait for the 808s. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's it? I thought you were gonna like sing a proposal or something. <laughs> that was such a oh, like you just played her a little a, like a leaked little clip of your song. You said if you want the full version, I have to go to iTunes. Oh, okay, got you. <laughs> I know that it's taken me a long time to get here, but there is no one that I'd rather go on this crazy adventure of life with than you. You complete me <clears throat> and this family. So, oh my gosh, you're getting married. I'm sorry. I know it's, I know it's not a ring. I spent all my money on our new. Y'all said the audio bugging. I don't know why the audio is bugging. It should have been bugging. Yeah, I don't know. It's working for me, so. House, but I promise you, as a new Jake, I will get you your dream ring one day. Look at that nosey ass girl in the back. She's like, oh my god. Your dream ring one day soon. <laughs> I say Prince, you get sturdy. No, I can get sturdy. <laughs> Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Y'all just got served. Yes. <laughs> yes. Ah! She said yes. She said yes to the dress. <laughs> A fucking donut. I love it because I love donuts. <laughs> <laughs> no way! No way! I refuse to believe this. You do not propose to a girl with a donut, and then all the other women are gonna be like, "Oh my gosh, so romantic!" That's not happening. That is not happening. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he gave her a donut. He had all the time. He got the job. He got the house, but he still didn't get her a ring. <laughs> Maybe he got to save up for it. That's why. Apparently, a ring is supposed to be three months of your paycheck. <laughs> Dick. Really? You're just gonna. Eat my ring. I love donuts. I was hungry. Man, I wish I'll spend three <laughs> months' salary on a ring just for her to leave me ten years in the future when she's bored. <laughs> oh. Bro, I'd be cracking myself up. All right. Don't listen. Featuring toasty marshmallow and meals. Maybe I'll react to that. A man of the Avenger. All right. Let me go ahead and read these donations because y'all have been so kind to me. So, so kind. Video Man, thank you so much for that dono. One game you should play is State of Decay 2. It's an open world zombie game. Is that like on VR or something? Psycho Croc said, can you play Jedi Fallen Order? I've actually already played that game. I just never played it on stream. Woody McQueen said, you see, I can get mod if I was in the next stream. You know what? I actually believe you. So, bada bidim, you are now a moderator. Congratulations, Woody McQueen. <clears throat> Thank you so, so much for being a part of my stream. OJ Itnam said, I meant Big Dono finished. He used to get you Big Dono. Oh, yeah, I remember finished. Where my boy finished at? Sammy Robidoux. Robidoux. Thanks so much for that Dono. Yo, what's up, Prince? Keep up the good work. Yes, will do. Gage Gaming with a dono. Prince, please make a Patreon. I would love to see you react to movies, shows, and anime. Raise your hand if you agree in the chat that he should make one. Oh, my gosh. <clears throat> I was actually thinking about this for the longest. I was actually thinking about this for the longest. Look, 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 look. 
If I create a Patreon and I start reacting to like shows and movies and anime, I feel like that would be dope. But then again, I feel like I would have to have like a second person with me because a lot of times where you see like these reaction channels that react to like movies, shows and anime, they tend to either be like a duo or even a trio or even a quartet. You very rarely see like the solo delos. So I would like, you know, want somebody to do it with me. Preferably a female, but you know, females don't like anime like that. <clears throat> uh, and that one guy, I don't have much leg hair, but I'll, I'll show you it, I guess. Hey, who wants to see my leg hair? It's not much. And then plushies, there is no only fan. Stop asking. This is my leg. This is my leg. <laughs> Why does my leg look like that? I swear, bro, I do lower body. <laughs> Wow, my leg looks skinny as hell. Look like some toothpicks. All right. Next up, we got man exposes wife cheating on live stream. Oh, this finna be some tea right here, guys. This finna be some tea right here. Man exposes wife cheating on live stream. You gonna get caught cheating on live stream? Oh, it's over. I will never take you back. This is the best birthday. I mean, I'll never take you back no Champagne, matter how you cheat. The cake. Okay, Tiger Woods. Oh, she got the bubble guts. You okay? She got the bubble guts. <laughs> she got a doo doo. Go ahead. Girls hate pooping at uh, the guy's apartment. That's why I've been surprised for you. Oh, I wonder where it could be. Whoa. Did you give someone the keys to my house? No, I didn't. I have no idea who that is. It's Scott. Oh, it's her husband. My husband. What? Woo! Come back for another week. Oh, you, you knew. You, you bastard. So you knew she was married. I have I have no sympathy for you then. If it was a situation where you didn't know she was married, it wouldn't be your fault. Oh my gosh! Her husband's an army man! Oh! Oh! Listen, guys. <laughs> I hate to tell you, but this happens very often. It actually happened right before my eyes. Look, for all you guys who are gonna, you know, go to the military and who are trying to bag a girl before you go to the military. In fact, most of them try to get married before they go and ship off. So they have somebody waiting for them when they get home, plus benefits, this and that. Just know the odds of you being cheated on, I'm not kidding. It's a good... I'll say it's a good 70%. 70% chance you will get cheated on. You are going to halfway across the world for months, if not years at a time, probably months, because I think they get breaks. You will get cheated on. Your girl will be on Tinder finding somebody to blow her back out while you're blowing the Taliban's back out. Uh, that was kind of bad wordplay, but you know what I'm trying to say, bro? It's not the first time this happened. It's not going to be the last. Oh, he's over here fighting for your freedom. And you're over here giving your, another man all of your shit for free. That is crazy. That is crazy, bro. Scott. Surprise. He is, he is putting his life on the line to get cheated on. Well, that's exactly what I wanted you to think in order for me to be able to surprise you on your birthday. So here I am. Surprise! That is up for you. Thank you. You're welcome. Damn, he deserves better, bro. Hmm. Oh! Do you have company? Two wine glasses. Uh, me? No. Then why do you have two slices of cake and two glasses of champagne? Um, I was just trying to imagine what- She's cheating like. on her husband with Tiger Woods. <laughs> <laughs> but why are you nervous? It's just really embarrassing. I just can't believe you caught me. There's doing no that. way in hell I'm showing my face, bro. He probably got PTSD. He ready to kill me. I miss Woo! you so much. <laughs> Take him to the bedroom, girl. I miss you so, 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 so much. I can't believe it. Why would you close the door, you idiot? How did the door close? I think that was just the wind. It's no, fine. Let me no, no, let me no. Check. No, no, I'm sick. Why would you close the door? Patricia, let me double check. Patricia, pa Patricia. Patricia, are you okay? Ugh. Patricia, what's going on? I think I'm going to be sick. That man wanted her to get caught. <laughs> he I said, bye, Patricia. Have fun. <laughs> oh, did she really throw up? So which is she one pregnant? Is better for you, this one or this one? Maybe she's pregnant. Mm. Sweetheart. Oh, sorry. Um, 
This one is fine. Um, listen, why don't I finish up? Oh here? my gosh, she got knocked up by her side I piece. Hate shopping. <laughs> it's fine. I haven't seen you in four months, so I don't want to be apart from you at all. Plus, you're sick, so. No. That is crazy, bro. Thanks. She got knocked up by her uh, side then, piece. Why don't I meet you at checkout? She, she was smashing him raw, guys. I hope y'all realize that. He was out in Iraq, whatever, wherever he was, Afghanistan, putting his life on the line while his wife is at home getting raw dogged by Tiger Woods. Oh, it's a cold world. It's a real cold world out here. Hope you brought your jackets, man. It's a very cold world. Okay, I'll take this. She finna, she finna sneak that pregnancy test. You better hope it says not pregnant, but this is a Darman video. We know it's not gonna be that easy. She's definitely yeah. knocked. Ooh! Oh, you scared me. Uh, no, I'm fine. Thanks. Actually, um, is there a way I can pay you cash for this? Like, right here? Oh, you know what? I can't do that. But we do have a self-checkout line. There you go. Please, it's, it's just literally this one item. Here, I, I don't even need the change. Oh, um, no, I'm sorry. I can't help you. It's store policy. I mean, you kind of can, though, but you just don't want to. Now I gotta steal it. You see, I was trying to pay for it like a good Samaritan, but now I'm stealing it. Yep. You tried, you tried to pay for it, girl. You gotta steal it now. Oh, is that sensor thing gonna go off the alarm? Great, I love it. Thank you really so much. I appreciate it. Excuse me, just a second. Does she know she- Can I buy something here? Sure. Do you really not remember what color hoodie? Ooh, yep. <laughs> I was like, do you really not remember what color hoodie your wife was wearing? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't see you there. <laughs> Take it. Yes. She is so scared. Thank you. Well, where is it? Where's what? I don't know. You want to buy something over there? Uh, oh, 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 it was just a candy bar. <laughs> but you know, I've been gaining some weight, so I decided not to eat any more sweets. <laughs> That's not true. He's gonna feel her tummy. You haven't gained a pound. You look incredible. <laughs> oh my gosh, he has no idea. This is so sad. He kissed her hand. Thank you. Gross. It's everything all right? This is your queen? Okay. Let's have dinner then. Stay safe out here, guys. Ooh, yep. She's stealing. She's stealing. pay for this. Excuse me. Can I see your receipt, please? Sure. Oh my gosh, look at this fucking teacher's pet. Look at him, look at him. What about the... Oh, 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 I decided I didn't need anything else. <laughs> Have a good night. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Damn, bro, you're not gonna... <laughs> Emptying your... <laughs> bro, you're not gonna get a raise. <laughs> this man thinks he's finna get employee of the month for catching a girl stealing a pregnancy test. Bro, if you don't go reshelf, restock okay. shit, what's wrong wait, with you? Wait. Halt! Do you mind emptying your pockets, please? I do mind. My wife is not a thief. Thank you. I'm not saying that she is. I'm just following store policy. That is not store policy. Store policy is don't chase, you know, people who steal. You're not supposed to chase them. You're supposed to let them go. So if y'all didn't know that, uh, go ahead and check out your local. I totally forgot to pay for this. So Trisha, is there something you need to tell me Woo! now? This target employee just cost you your marriage. I, I'm sorry. Well, you cost I yourself your marriage. You. The thing is, I've been keeping a secret. Um, I... I might be a dad. He is this much of an idiot? I might be a dad? Even this target employee knows. Ever. He said, um... <laughs> even he knows, dude. You have been gone for four months. I'm not saying, okay, I think at four or five months, that's when most women who aren't, you know, linebackers who aren't fat start showing. She's pretty skinny. So I think she would be showing by now, like to the point where you wouldn't have to question it. You will see a bump, right? Four months, right? Or maybe not. I don't know pregnancy like that. You know, never need to know like that. <laughs> but he knows. He knows. <laughs> I might be a dad. 
Best news ever! Oh, oh this guy's a sucker. Oh, oh my god. We're so sorry that she forgot to pay for this. Put it on my card, please. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Look at him! Look at him! Mind your business, bitch! Wow! <laughs> I can't believe it! Oh my god, after all these years trying. I was starting to think it was me that I had a problem. Oh, it is it is him who has the problem. If you're pregnant with a boy, can we name him after me? <laughs> he, oh, what a sucker. What a sucker, guys. This guy's a sucker. Uh, um, hi. Hi, sweetheart. What is all oh, this? He's so excited. I've got great news. Ever since your pregnancy test came out positive, Oof. I just couldn't wait any longer to know our baby's gender. Ooh. So I went to see your OBG. Ooh! And she and said, told me, it's four months along? Three months? You two months? OBGYN? Mm -hmm. And I made her promise not to tell you anything because I want to be the one to surprise you. I don't think they could do that. Give me a second. Does he know? Because there's no way you went to the OBGYN and she didn't tell you that. And we are live on Instagram. No, 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 no. I don't want to go live. It's, it's okay, honey. Already told both. I think he knows. And our friends. Whoa, we already have 43 people watching. Can you believe that? I think They're he knows. Watching. I think he knows. Hi, Mom. How about that? They're all so excited. Hi, everybody. Um, <laughs> Does he know? Uh, hi. <laughs> so what there is no way this man went to the OBGYN and the OBGYN did not tell him how far along that baby is. I mean, technically speaking, the baby could be about... It could be anywhere from four months to one week, but you don't get a positive result that quick. So, yeah, he's definitely not the father. Her side pieces. It's just, why does he think he's the father? Is he this stupid? He hasn't touched his wife in four months. Like, are you that much of a goober? <laughs> what are we doing? First, get a little closer to the table and put this blindfold on. I think he knows, bro. <laughs> okay. He definitely has to know, man. Mm-hmm. Perfect. He's setting her up. Now I'm going to give you a, a set of papers. The papers gonna say I cheated. One time when I tell you. Okay. Are you ready? He knows. So he knows. Happy. He knows. So excited. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait. I can't wait for all of you to see. Oh, he's, he's gonna embarrass have, you. We have over 100 people watching. Oh, 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 oh he's gonna embarrass her ass. Ready to start. <laughs> It's coming, guys. Okay. It's Perfect. coming. Please present the first card. All right. Hmm. And the first card says, eagerly waiting for a bundle of joy. <laughs> I don't think it says that. Okay. Next card, please. He knows. This one says, we will love him no matter how much they annoy. <laughs> Joy annoy. I think I know what rhymes with those. Oh, she's she's getting set up, guys. I'll let you choose. <laughs> People watching the live, like, oh my god, girl, you slept with Tiger Woods. Ooh, the suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh my god, the king and the queen are going to have a prince. Oh my god, you are good, honey. You are awesome. Take up the blindfold. <laughs> look, look. I'm sorry. Yes, you got her, but you did this on live. Your mother was watching. Other people know now. Uh, if God forbid this ever happened to me, but if my wife got knocked up by somebody else, the last thing I I, I need is the world knowing. I want to take that secret to the grave. I'm just going to divorce her. Tell everybody, you know, we just had our differences. You know, she she just wasn't really the one. Obviously, I may tell like my family and like close, close friends. But there's no reason you need to tell Instagram live that you just got cuckolded. There is no reason. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh, the boy. Okay. <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for it? <laughs> I think ads just started playing. So we're going to run it back that way. Is killing me. <laughs> Y'all can catch up. Oh my god. The king and the queen are going to have a prince? <laughs> oh my god, you are good, honey. You are awesome. All right, let's see. The oh, the boy. Let's see, let's see the big reveal. <laughs> yup. <laughs> this belongs on Shade Room. Here's the big reveal. I was deployed. Patricia having an affair? Pregnant with his baby, not mine? Woo! This isn't what you said out loud. Why would you do this? And I'm live? I 
I want everybody to know what you did. I didn't do anything. I've been a good wife. Well, you just left your... No more lies, Patricia. Please, no more lies. You can't even take responsibility for cheating? You have to blame it on the guy? knows about it. You see... Oh, yeah. How did he find out? Oh, yeah, th this is where he found out. The receptionist asked me what my relationship was to the father. I, I am the father. Really <laughs> but didn't dig too deep into it. That is, until I met with your doctor. When I told her I wanted to know the gender of our baby. She's like, nigga, who is you? She said she couldn't tell me. <laughs> and when I asked why, she said not only it was too early to know, but she could only let the baby's mother or father know that information. Ooh, oh my God. She actually put her side piece's name so down? See, wow. Now it all makes sense. The two slices of cake, the two glasses of champagne, the pregnancy test. You're an idiot. Plus, like the pregnancy test was so obvious. Baby, you would be a lot further along since the last time I came home was four months ago. I cannot believe Still not taking responsibility. Do this still me? not taking responsibility. Friends and family on social media? It's still not her fault. You are unbelievable. She's she's unbelievable, you guys. Turn this on me, aren't you? Wow. Oh my god. If you hadn't been unfaithful to me with another man, none of this would have happened. While I was out protecting my country. She doesn't even think she did anything wrong, bro. Well, it's not my fault. Wow! It's yours. Wow! How long have we been trying to get pregnant? Huh? And it never happened. Well, now that I am, clearly something's wrong with you. I want you gone, Patricia. Kick this bitch out, bro. Thank you. Fine. Zero accountability. I'd rather go live with Nate anyway. Nate, don't want your ass. Have a good life, and thanks a lot for humiliating me when it should be you who's humiliated. Low key, she Nate, she is. Kids, what kind of a man are you? Damn. Patricia. Ooh, she she got him with a dagger. <laughs> who's humiliated? Can't even have kids. What kind of a man are you? Ooh. <laughs> Patricia storms out of the house, leaving Scott there in silence. Nah, she got your ass. <laughs> she ends up moving in with Nate, and everything seems great at first. Nate's going to be a terrible, with him and terrible man. To child. But to her surprise, when she goes in for a follow-up appointment with her doctor, what? she's shocked to find out that she's not really pregnant. What? It turns out to be a false positive. What? To make things even worse, when she gets back to Nate's place, she ha! finds out that he's doing the same thing that she was doing to Scott. Nate got bitches! <laughs> Seeing someone behind her back. <laughs> they, like, they like, you know who it was, baby. <laughs> someone behind her back. That's how it goes, bro. Patricia. If they'll cheat devastated. with you, they'll cheat on you. Come on. A couple years go by, and Patricia bumps into the person that she least suspects. I'm sorry. No problem. Scott? Hey, how have you been? Patricia, I've been well. How about you? How are things going with Nate? Or maybe... Oh, that was short-lived. Maybe it really was her issue because she was never pregnant to begin with. So maybe it really is her with the issue. How the hell do you have a false positive? That is scary as hell. I don't ever need that kind of stress in my life. Look, women, don't ever tell a man you missed your period unless you know for sure, like you go to the ultrasound and you can see a baby inside of you. We don't need that kind of stress, man. Our heart racing, accelerating. Golly, bro. Um, it's happened to me before. So was my Worst feeling ever. Actually, turns out that test was wrong. So I'm thinking he can have kids. It was just her. Take care. Oh, uh, wait. Before you go, um, don't touch me. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry about what happened between us. Oh, I brother. I was really upset about that Instagram live thing. Oh, brother. I understand why you did it. Honestly, I've been thinking a lot about you lately. 
Oh, back up, Maybe crusty ass. You could. Honey, did you find it? Yes, I did. He got himself a white girl. Her favorite. Woo! She loves. He does have a baby. Tanya, this is Patricia, my ex-wife. Oh, you're Patricia. <laughs> He's told her so many stories. <laughs> GG, Patricia. You're never getting back with him. Is that your girlfriend? Wife. Mm -hmm. We married last year. Wow, you sure moved on fast. Um, well, I guess I should say congratulations. You seem really happy with her and her baby. Nope, that's our baby. My baby. Yours? Mm -hmm. I thought you couldn't. Well, it turns out that I wasn't the one with the problem. Go. You're the one with the defunct factory, you know, the baby making factory, because we're just the uh, we're the goo for the factory. <laughs> uh, I still don't know how to feel about it though, bro. I would not ever in a million years go on Instagram live to tell the world that my wife cuckolded me, that my wife was sleeping with another man while I was out serving a tour in Afghanistan. And that this man is balding. Bro, what? I would never tell the world that. I'm taking that to my grave. I'm not trying to embarrass myself because most of the embarrassment will come from the will come for the guy, you know? Like, especially since she wasn't even she was she wasn't even sympathetic. She didn't even feel bad. She blamed it all on him. And then she called him a weak ass man. She's like, what kind of man are you? you? Can't even knock me up. Bro, I can knock you up. <laughs> it just won't be getting you pregnant. It's gonna be a different kind of knocking. Be with my fists. You know, sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm kidding. No, you never need to do that. You never need to do that. <laughs> so, thank you so much for that donation. Diligent Kid Links, thank you so much for that donation. GD Wag, thank you for those donos. King Apple Jacks, thank you so much for that donation. He said, This is my first donation. Hope you're having a good day. Also, I wanna ask you ask, have you watched Money Heist? It's a really good show. Yes. Is it that, um, that Spanish show, right? Like where they're, they're in Spain and they're trying to rob a bank. I've watched the entire thing of it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I give it a seven out of 10. A lot of the things that they did, well, duh, it's like not realistic, but it was like super unrealistic. Remember they'll be having like gunfights and not a single one of them would catch a bullet and they'll be emptying the clip. I'm like bro, like some one of y'all needs to get shot right now for me to believe this. Jeremiah, thank you so much for that donation. He said, what's good, Prince? I've been watching you since the cartoon intro, Rose. You've been a bit, big inspiration to me. Thank you. Wow, I haven't done one of those cartoon roasts in years. Time flies. Time certainly flies. All right. Next up, we got Bride to Be backstabbed on Bachelorette. I'm guessing that's going to be the show. Oh, women. They're so fake. Always backstabbing each other. Let's go ahead and see what they do. So excited. Ah. It's gonna be the best ever. So, we got an Airbnb in the city and a table at the club. It's gonna be the craziest weekend of our lives. <laughs> well, I hope not too crazy. Don't worry, babe. I told the girls that I just want a very. I want the one in the middle. Party. Just spa stuff and shopping. Y'all know what I mean. I want the one in the middle. Trust me, Grant. Nothing's gonna happen. He looks like a Grant. I'm gonna miss you so much. Come on. We've got to go, or we're gonna miss our flight. All right, all right. I want that one in the middle. <laughs> you, uh, oh, he oh, wants to kiss sorry. goodbye. Oh. Okay, that too. But uh, I was talking about your cell phone. Oh, jeez, I can't believe I almost forgot. Hey, um, will you call us an Uber? You know my passcode, and my hands are kind of full. No worries. I already called us one. Let's go. <laughs> nah, I'm taking that hey, one in like the middle. You. I just want to make sure that you're going to be responsible this weekend. I know how your friends can pressure you sometimes. I mean, I decided not to even have a bachelor party, so. Of course. He basically said, you don't go sucking do another man schlong. I know, but you can be forgetful sometimes. That's not true. <laughs> okay, so I can be a little. Y'all want to know what happens during girls bachelor parties? Going on this trip with Cameron, they be whores. And Ellie and <laughs> I've known those girls forever. Oh my know. gosh, she finna get turned out. But you know what? <laughs> you have to be careful who you trust. It's the ones closest to you who can hurt you the most. She finna get turned out. I want you to have fun, but 
Just make sure that you don't miss your flight home for the rehearsal, okay? <laughs> Here's your phone. Can y'all show the friend in the middle again? I haven't seen that uh, Darman actor before. She's looking good. So, here's the floor plan of the club. I already spoke with the host, and I see we get this booth. Wow, right here. so Still organized. For. Ooh, we could get bottle service. Yeah, that sounds like fun. <laughs> I don't know, you guys. Do y'all know what bottle service is? Skeptical. It's where you pay two hundred dollars for a bottle of liquor that normally costs like forty bucks. For the ring. Okay, first of all, there's not gonna be any bling, Danica, and. I don't know. I just don't really feel comfortable. Come on. This is probably the last time that we'll all get to hang out like this. Maybe we can just get a table further away from the dance floor. Why don't we do what Brindley wants? It is her bachelorette party. Shut up. <laughs> Cam Cam, you're on my side, right? What do you think? I think the club would be fun. We don't have to get too crazy. OK, fine. <laughs> this is the whore friends that you need to be aware of if you're dating a girl. Please. For the bride squad. Oh <laughs> lord. Already drinking? I can't drink tequila. I black out if I have too much. Okay. In that case, make it a double. <laughs> Danny. Oh, this this is a, this is a friend that does not have your best interests at heart. <laughs> if you're a guy and your girl has a friend like this, here you go. Who's over here changing Yo, what moderator is doing this? A moderator, turn on subscriber only mode. Hold on. I don't know what happened, but can you change it back? I don't know why you changed it, whoever did that. <clears throat> to a weekend that we may or may not remember. <laughs> oh my god. They're gonna be up to no good. Wait, wait, wait. Is this tequila? No, 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 no. I definitely said that I wanted vodka. Oh my gosh. Stop complaining. You'll be fine. We're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? I'll take both of them if I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Pull another card. We gotta finish the game. Come on, come on, come on. I don't know, you guys. I don't really want to play. The one sitting game. next to each other. For dares, so that's the fun of it. Please, please, please. please. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Uh, so prank, prank call, call someone. someone. Okay. Call? Pretty simple. Ooh, call Grant and tell him that you're calling off the wedding. Denny, no. Don't listen to your friends. Do yeah, don't listen yeah, to your no, friends. I do not think that that's a good idea. I mean. He was already stressed enough about me. Danny is trying to set your ass up, girl. It says, dare. She I she want Grant low key. Just text him after him. Like, no Yo, saying, this friend here, she wants Grant low key. She is giving her all of the worst uh, advice right now. She low key wants her some Grant. <laughs> she wants her some Ulysses True. as Grant. And you could just text him after and let him know we're playing a game. Yeah. Ooh, Travis Warner with the big donos. Big donos. What's up, Prince? How's it going? What's up, Travis? Big donos. Appreciate oh, that big donation. Shoot. Went to voicemail. Love Hi. you, bro. Guess we have to do the next challenge. Yeah, it's not even funny to prank call that you're calling off the wedding. <laughs> Kiss a tattoo? I, I got a tattoo. Kiss a tattoo. It's, it's on my inner thigh. I have a tattoo. <laughs> No, that's too easy. We need to find a guy. Yeah, she had thought. She had thought. Someone like. Ooh -hoo! He's been. He's been having some fun tonight. Camry. Stop. Well, uh, hello, ladies. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but it looks like you guys are celebrating a bachelorette party. Yes. Does he have Riz? He's going to make an honest woman out of me. Does he have Riz? Congratulations. Let's see if he got some Riz. Believe it or not, I'm actually celebrating my own bachelor party. But all my friends found girls and dished me. <laughs> some great friends, right? Let's cut to the chase. Is it cool if she kisses your tat? You do not have to say yes. Hey, why not? <laughs> of course he's going to say yes. The hell? <laughs> who, who would say no? Really don't have to do Go ahead and link it too, baby. I mean, she could baby. Be the card's spoken. Do it, do it, kiss the tap. 
Kiss the attack. Look, look at her Kiss friends. This is what your girlfriend's friends are making her do. And then she's just gonna be like, stop it, guys. But watch her still kiss that man's tat. She gonna kiss that man's tit and tat, bro. This is... <laughs> Yo, I had a friend who was dating this one girl and all of her friends were some whores, bro. <laughs> and he thought she was different. I was like, look, bro. Doctors hang out with doctors. Lawyers hang out with lawyers. Whores hang out with whores, bro. What did you think this was? Did you think you were different? Did you think she was just a rare occurrence? Why, why do you think she gets along with them? Because they're one and the same, bro. They're one and the same. Oh, man. She's really going to kiss this man's tat. I got to roll it back a little bit. But first... Donuts in the chat right now! Finished! Whoa, bro! He gave me 50 memberships and then a fat ass dono. Finished. MVP. MVP finished has has arrived. I was asking earlier in this live stream, I was like, yo, where is my boy finished at? Where is my boy? Here's what I'm gonna do. Finished. I just removed you as a standard moderator. Guess what I'm making you. You are now a managing moderator. Enjoy. I trust you. I trust you with my life. Finished. Oh my gosh. This man got paid. <laughs> Let's get back to it. Do She's about to kiss it, his tat. Kiss the tat. Kiss the tat. Where is it kiss though? Kiss the tat. Kiss the tat. Where is it? Okay, that's not bad. <laughs> hey, uh, look at him, look at him. Brian. Oh my gosh, Brian. 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 Sit down. <laughs> it's a beautiful name. He's already falling in love. <laughs> you, uh, you from around here? Oh my no, god. No, we all actually just flew in this morning. Didn't he say this is his bachelor Easy. party too? Mm. Hour long flight. Don't well, you have a, a, a bride that's waiting for you at home? Be in town for a bit. If you're looking for any suggestions or a tour guide, I would love to. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I just don't feel comfortable talking to a guy. That's my girl. Scenario. That's my nice, girl. That's my girl. I just don't think that my fiance would appreciate Hell it. Hell yeah, it's respect. That's nice, son. Uh, Sit no, your ass I, down, Brian. I completely respect that. Look. Go kick rocks, Brian. Take another shot. <laughs> No. This girl is. I cannot. I these girls are trouble. Anybody. Oh, come on. You can't say no to the cards. <laughs> no. The Look what I just did. I said no to I'll the cards. If you do. She thinks this is Yu Gi Oh! The heart of the cards. Oh, shut the. F <laughs> shot, 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 shot. Brian is going to weasel his way into something. Whether it be her or the bride's uh, bridesmaid. He's gonna weasel his way into something. Look at it, look, look! He turning up with them, watch, watch. Even the DJ turn it. Oh my gosh! Brian! That's the responsible friend right there. She's like, oh my gosh, girl, what are you doing? Guys, I'm getting worried. I think we should intervene. It looks like she's starting to black out. Yeah, I'll, I'll take all three of them. Finally letting loose and looking a little. Oh my Whatever. god, man. Yeah, and she looks like she's having a great time. You can't trust none of these hoes, bro. You can't. Oh, he's getting her another shot. Look at her. Oh, she's all over him. Look at that responsible ass friend. Brian, you you dog. Brian, you <laughs> I need to know, is that Brian's bachelor party or is it just his friends? Like one of his friends is getting married. Because he said he's here for a bachelor party as well. I don't know if it's his bachelor party. So I'm like, don't don't you have a don't you got a feel? You did not. Oh! oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Are your panties still on? Brian. Brian, you need to wake up. Wake up! Get out of my bed. Oh my Go. god, bro! Go! Oh, Damn! Oh, he beat them cakes up, bro. 
He deep them kicks up! Brian! <laughs> this man Brian beat the kicks! Nothing. Nothing that we saw at the club except for you dancing with that one guy. So you didn't sleep when we got back. Everyone was really drunk. Oh my gosh. Check your phone. Uh, maybe there's like a clue in there or something. Did y'all did y'all record a tape? Oh, they recorded a tape? He said, "Baby, you yeah. look so good on OnlyFans. You can't, you can't fall for the black guy, Riz, man. I know it's hard. I know he kind of sexy." Oh, 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 oh. Anything. Those photos. I, I mean, they could be. I, I just got home oh to my, my fiance. Don't worry, I won't say anything about us hooking Brian up. Just texted me and he said that we hooked up. So Brian did have a fiance. I oh, is, Dude, I, I oh my know. God. Just delete the photos. He doesn't even have to know. Ooh. Or you could be honest with him. I mean, <laughs> That's a knee slapper. Be honest. Be honest. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. I'm all for honesty. I am all for honesty. Trust me. I think honesty is very important. You all <laughs> need to be honest in life, right? But who would this help? Who exactly would this help? As a man, look, 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 look. Obviously, nobody wants to be cheated on. Nobody wants to be cheated on. It's not fun. Nobody wants to go through that ever in their life. But think about this realistically, guys. Grant does will probably never know unless one of y'all tell him, correct? It's not like he's going to just automatically know, oh, you're dancing with a guy. I can smell cologne on you. No, he's not going to do that. He is only going to find out unless she tells him or Brian tells him or one of her friends tell him. What he doesn't know won't hurt him. So if it was truly a mistake and you're never going to do it again, bro, he doesn't need to know. Don't tell him because the only thing that's going to accomplish is you're going to destroy his trust with you and for all the future girls he dates. The wedding is probably going to be called off. Ain't no way in hell. Ain't no way in hell I'm going to go through a, with a wedding when my wife just got her cakes beat up at her bachelor party? <laughs> you're a joke. You're, 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 you're joking. If you think I'm really going to walk down the aisle still. No way in hell that is happening. <laughs> no way that is happening. So... Honestly, man, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. He doesn't need to know. He doesn't need to know. It just won't help anything. I'll forgive you, right? Brinley, look, it's too close to the wedding. Here, I'm gonna delete all the text messages and all the photos, and then I'm gonna block him. I agree. We'll never mention a word to anyone. I agree, I agree. Just like it never even happened. That's the best case. That's the best road to go yeah, down. It's... Act like it never happened. Ooh, is Grant, is it a FaceTime? I'm gonna put your phone on airplane mode and we'll deal with this when we get back home, okay? <laughs> That's crazy. She got her cakes beat up, bro. <laughs> hey, I've been calling you. That How man you Brian trip? slid yeah, into some um, that night. My phone died. I forgot my charger. Yo, thank you to everybody who's um becoming yeah. a member. Would you, uh, oh, that's finished. Yeah, gifting those memberships. Me. Hell yeah. Well, we tell you what happened, but what happens on a girl's trip? Stays on a girl's trip. <laughs> Let me know if you just got gifted a membership, bro. Guess, you, uh, Let's see who got a membership. A of tequila and blacked out and you brought a guy home. Woo! Whole How did he know? Tequila blacked out oh no, he's probably just joking. Brought a guy home. He's probably just joking. <laughs> I'm kidding, guys. <laughs> oh, damn. Gosh. Listen, Grant, do you have a second? I need to talk to you about something. Oh, she just wanted to ask you about the wedding processions. We were thinking maybe I could walk down the aisle with Bobby no. and... Uh, uh, no. What you feeling? What you feeling? I need to talk to you about something else. I guess I can just tell you here. Is she really going to tell him? I'm here. I'm here. Who's, who's okay. this? Who are you? Oh, we need to get you ready for hair and dress for her. Oh, she like the wedding no, no planner? Okay. <laughs> Brian had that butt on him. Brian had plenty of butt. 
Bro, she was tossing that butt on Brian, man. I don't know if y'all ever been with a girl who has been drinking. Oh my gosh, they throw that butt. They throw that butt like, <laughs> like their life depends on it, man. A true vision. <laughs> oh my gosh, Brian had butt overload. Finished with another big donut, bro. Another big donut. Finish. You too crazy, man. I love you. I love you, man. I have love for you, bro. Nah, this is crazy. He gave me 50 gifts. Travis Warner. Uh, don't think. Oh, he gave me another 50. Holy shit. Finished. Yo. <laughs> he gave me a hundred memberships. A hundred of y'all are about to become members because your boy finished hook y'all up. So make sure you say thank you finished in the chat. For all of y'all who just randomly got a membership, you have uh, finished to thank for that. And Travis Warner, he gave a little five. He gave a little five. You never know. It could be you. Y'all going crazy with this, bro. I feel so blessed, man. Love y'all. All right, let's get back to it. Brindley, we need to talk. Does he know? You can't come in. She's in her dress. Everyone knows the groom can't see the bride when she's in her dress Wait. before the wedding. Because the title of this There's video, yeah. One of her yeah, friends yeah. snitched. Yep. One of her friends snitched on her. They said she was throwing that butt on Brian. Brindley was throwing butt on Brian. I just think you deserve better, Grant. Like, I wouldn't do that to you. I would so never do that What's to you, going Grant. On? I actually respect and care about you. This. Woo! How did you get it? How did you see that? I thought that I did. deleted them. I know. But you forgot to delete them from your recently deleted. Why were you looking for Why them? were you? Don't try to make me out to be the bad guy. No, I why were you, though? From an anonymous source telling me to check your phone for deleted photos and messages. Babe. She got snitched on. No. You cheated on me, Brinley. You think you can just come back here to my house? Why he dressed like he finna go pick some wheat? You know, I loved you. You look like you finna go board the Titanic. I was gonna marry you. <laughs> Ripped my heart out. I am so you look like you finna go join the Peaky Blinders. Who ass? All right. <laughs> Please, let's just talk about this. There is no talking about it. We can't just talk. About oh yeah, there is no talking about I it. I need you out of my house right now. Please. Don't babe me. Get out of my house. Our relationship is over. I would. I would probably would have smashed that phone. On my wedding day, I'm gonna find out. On my wedding day, I mean, I guess it's better. You Brim, found out no, before. Leave me alone. Ooh. Just talk to us, Brim. What happened? Ooh. Please stop. Leave me alone. Ooh. I want this one now. I want. I want this one now. I, I used to want this one. Really, I, I'll take them all. <laughs> no, but like. Phone. Golly. I love Please. me some. Please stop. Some leave me movement. Alone. Just talk to us, Brim. What happened? One more. Once more. Please stop. Ooh. Leave me alone. I love me some movement. <laughs> what happened in there? One of y'all snitched. I think it's the it's one in the over. middle. The one in the middle snitched. Hey. Someone texted Grant about the deleted pictures and messages. Or the one on the far, far right then. Well, I don't know. Maybe. One of my best friends, maybe. Come on, you seriously can't believe this. You three were the only ones who knew. So which one of you was it? Brian knew as well. Seriously. None of you are gonna fess up. Look, I think you need to take a deep breath. Is it you? <gasps> oh! You're the one. Can <laughs> I get a cat bite? <laughs> and down to kill the shots like they were water. Grandburn, I know emotions are really high right now, but we can figure this out, okay? You no, know, whatever. Okay. I'm done with all of you. Let me find out she didn't even sleep with Brian. The wedding is off. They just took Not a nap. Necessarily. Oh, really, Brian? here's Brian. What are you doing here? Look, I, I've been trying to call you. But Brian the Butt Bandit. To voice me. I've just been feeling so guilty about what happened. And I just wanted to tell you the truth. The truth about what? Y'all didn't do anything. About what really happened. You see, I'm an actor. And one day I'd gotten an email about a gig to hit on a girl at her bachelorette party. It paid well. Her husband wire, set her up? And I took the job. No way. That's why I was at the club. I lied about it being my bachelor party, too. I was really just there for you. But when we got back to the room, nothing 
happen. Actually, all that you could do is talk about how much you loved your fiance. <laughs> so who hired him? He was. I mean, you must have shown me like over a hundred photos. Of who hired him then? Cause so you see, I feel like he got some butt. <laughs> I mean, even the text I sent after I left, it was all part of the stuff. I'm sorry, I'm still in shock. Who so, would do something like that? One of her friends did, right? Her. Wow! I knew something was off about her. That's why I said I didn't want her. That's why I said I wanted the one in the middle of the right, because I knew someone was off about this chick. So, someone was just off about her. Finish, bro. Did you give me another don't Jesus man appreciate that bro he said can you get me monetized on YouTube please um there is no way I can do it but what I can do is um everybody go subscribe to finish right now this is me being like dead ass for real let me see if I can access his channel because yo this guy has supported the charming squad here we go go to channel here's my boy finished you know, go ahead and subscribe to his channel. He got a thousand subscribers, so 744 videos. So go ahead and subscribe to his channel. It's right here. Um, I'll copy it and put it in the chat. There you go. It's in the chat. I just commented in the chat. Yo, go subscribe to him because, man, that boy has been supporting the channel for a long time and he deserves it. But finish. you already have enough subscribers for uh, monetization and you have... I think it's just the watch time they have to work on. So, you know, upload more videos so you should get there soon. But I personally, I have no power over that. I can't just tell them to monetize you. I have zero power when it comes to YouTube. Sorry, man. You can't trust these hoes, bro. In shock. Who would do something like that? I knew, I knew something was off about her. I really thought I was going to be the one in the middle, though. Camry, is this true? Did you set this up? You're gonna believe this guy? Like. Look, look, look. You don't have to believe me. But believe this. Believe this. He's better off without her. Camry, how could wow. you? Wow, so she wanted she wanted Grant. Oh, come on, Brinley. Can you really blame me? The only reason you met Grant was because of me. Women are so I've fake. Been since freshman year, and you swoop in and steal him from me. Wow, over a guy. I of you as my sister. Over a guy, bro. And you stabbed him in the back. I guess Grant was right. He warned me to be careful who I trust because it's always the ones closest to you who hurt you the most. Mm. Hurt you? Can't you see you're the one who hurt me? I should be the one marrying Grant, not you. Well, I guess it goes without saying that you are no longer invited to the wedding. Oh, that easily goes without saying. If you even still want to marry me. Look, I'm not happy that you got blacked out drunk. With another guy in your bed. No what could have happened. Like, they had, they had sleepovers. Brian, I think he got butt. <laughs> and, uh, you this know, man Brian got some butt. You were talking about me nonstop, even if you were intoxicated. So. This man Brian got some butt. He got some butt. Y'all yes. <laughs> still gonna marry yes. her, guys? Don't want to marry you. <laughs> I want both of y'all. <laughs> y'all still oh, gonna marry her, guys? Miss. Oh, it's actually Mrs. Anderson now. We just got married. Wow, congratulations. Mrs. Anderson. Thank you. <clears throat> you want a drink to celebrate? Uh, yeah, I'll actually have two shots of tequila. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll just have water. I'm not gonna drink again for a really long time, okay? Thank you. Yeah, he's never gonna trust you around tequila ever again. <laughs> And he's always gonna bring up Brian. He's always gonna bring up Brian. Oh, remember when you hooked when you hooked up with that one guy, Brian? How you put it in your bag? But honey, I never hooked up with him. How should I know? Is, I feel uh, I feel like Brian got butt. I'm sorry. Fine, <laughs> Woo! These bridesmaids, man. Bridesmaids, they be fake as hell. She wanted her man, and she gonna go through this elaborate ass plan to try to set this girl up to seem like she cheated on her husband and then tell the husband 
you're this close. But Brian showed up. Brian was a good guy. I still feel like he got some butt. <laughs> Yo, TJ, thank you so much for being a member for two months. OTG Mason, thank you so much for becoming a member. So, thank you so much for becoming a member. OJ Itnom, thank you so much for uh, for that donation. My questions about finished have been answered. I need to know who this guy finished is, bro. You a millionaire? <laughs> and finished with another huge donut. Big donuts in the chat, bro. Big donuts. He said, could you possibly watch some of my streams? Watch hours. Yeah, guys, make sure you watch because he needs watch hours in order to get monetization. So essentially, all you got to do, let me go ahead and comment his uh, channel once again. After this stream, you know, because I'm still going to be streaming for a while, all you got to do is watch a couple of his videos, watch a couple of his streams, and you'll get him to the required amount of watch time in no time. So, yeah, help your boy finish out. He's helping out your boy, so help out him. I just commented it. Uh, so, yeah, make sure you watch some of his videos after this stream. That way he can get his watch time up and he can get some monetization. Appreciate it so much, finished. But don't worry, guys. We got plenty more videos to come. This live stream is not over yet and not anytime soon. All right. We got woman fakes missing child for money. She lives to regret it. Jeez. So the kid never goes missing, but she acts like it did. So she'll get some money. Where's Kimberly? Oh, um, sure. She's here somewhere. Is he a dad now? Where? I have looked everywhere. Gary, I was gone at the ATM for five minutes. How could you already lose the kid? I didn't lose her, George. Come on, that's that. Come on, let's keep looking. This man was having fun. <laughs> he was having fun in the jungle gym. You gonna look behind a clock? Yeah, that's where your kid is. Hey. Hey, excuse me. Have you seen a little girl? She's got like bl blonde hair. So she's like. No, 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 no. Don't listen to him. Okay, she's wearing a green sweater and her name is Kimberly. I haven't seen anyone go through here, guys. Yeah, we're even looking. Been on your phone. Oh, really? Oh, wait, really? Do, they, do they really not have a kid? I wanted to talk. Because hey, the title? I'm not being paid by the hour to watch kids like this guy. He needs to be fired. Uh, oh, guys? So now you're saying I need to be paying you by the hour? After everything that I already do for you. That's not what you know. That's not what I'm saying at all. Why do you? Is that your kid right there? To make me the bad guy. Oh, I don't know, Gary. Maybe yeah, that's <laughs> that's their kid. The bad guy. What? You lost the kid after five minutes. I would not have even had to go to the ATM if you would have just brought the money like you were supposed to do. You know my situation. What am I supposed to do, uh, guys? What? Wait, you, you don't got a job? Is that not her? <gasps> hey, it's Kimberly. Kimberly. Oh, we were so. Worried about you. Yeah, don't don't ever disappear like that again. Yeah. No, don't worry. I am never leaving you alone with him again. Okay. <laughs> Lucky I'm even here helping you out. Yeah, well, am I still this is why you gotta make sure you know who you are getting pregnant. Can you imagine having a baby mama you hate? Golly. Or vice versa, like a baby daddy that you hate. Ooh, and Gary. they're broke. Gary. Gary. What? I'm, I'm shame for my interview. You were supposed to pay the power bill. It says it's past due. Did you pay it? Yeah, I, I sent in the check. You didn't send in no damn check. Unless. Unless what? You spent it on gambling. It oh, it bounced. Gary, this is unbelievable. I literally pay every single bill. This is your only one. Look, I'm, tr I'm trying to find work. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Try harder. All he has to do is pay I the power bill? I don't want babysitting, but what? I do it because I have to. This man got a nice hookup. I want to go home. Can I call my mom? I'm sorry. Oh, that's sweetie. you know that your mom is on a silent retreat. Oh, so I am so tripping. I'm over here thinking. Wait, are they are they just babysitters? Or is that her dad? It's not her parents, I guess. Calls unless it's an emergency. I thought that was her parent. I promise that everything is gonna be okay. <laughs> uh, don't worry. Don't worry. We 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 uh. We have, we have a backup generator. It should turn on. It lasts a couple more hours. So I'm guessing those are just babysitters? Or maybe that's her dad? Yeah. See? It worked. I don't know. Gone missing in San Bernardino. The authorities are still trying to find her. Her garden said she was at the park out of school. When they came to check on her, she was nowhere to be found. This would have been us if I left Kimberly with you any longer. I'm just going to turn it off. Wait, hold on, hold on, real quick. Her family set up a GoFundMe to help find the girl. The initial goal was $25,000. The community support was so strong, 
They've already raised over a hundred thousand. Ooh, a hundred K? Over a hundred grand? For a missing kid? How's that gonna help? I mean, I'll help hey, you uh, me. buy a replacement Would kid, you I guess. Give us a second, please. <laughs> what? Buy a replacement kid? Prince, what's wrong with you? Looks like he has an idea. Alright. He's got a fresh new idea. This is gonna sound crazy. Hear me out. What if we had little Kim go missing? Yeah, that's not her dad. Why would we do that? Well, I could think of a hundred thousand reasons why. Uh. Are you kidding me? Absolutely not. That is insane. You're, you're sick for even thinking that you are uh, a you, sick man, Gary. You don't, you don't want money then. You ain't battle your paper say, then. <laughs> we actually have her go missing. Just saying. We pretend. Just for a little while. Yeah, you ain't, Long enough to pay off all our debt at least. You ain't serious about your bag? Come well, on. When she magically reappears, everyone will want their money back. Oh, see? That's the best part. We'll make it seem like because of the donations, that's how we found her. Ooh, what a clever guy. Donors, I like it. I like donors. it. The last thing they'll want is their money back. I like it. I like it. Genius, right? More like <laughs> idiotic. <laughs> her mom will find out in a heartbeat. Show up here, then what? No, no. She's away at a silent retreat for a week. We'll just delete everything before she gets back. She won't even know. Woo, that's risky, though. Deep Very really risky. Just keep living like this. We are always behind on bills. Barely keeping our heads above water. I mean, look, the only reason we have food is because you got money for babysitting. No. Oh, no. so close. You almost convinced her. Doing this. He's doing it with or without your help. <clears throat> oh. Is that her mom? Second month in a row. You two haven't paid the rent. Oh, it's the landlord. Okay, get your crusty ass paper away from my you face. Three days to come up with the money or you're out of here. You got three days for our BOS. Three days. Three. Okay. Damn, okay. This week three days, days. 72 hours. I get it. Is it gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, now you want to do we it. Have no idea. Now, she, now she wants to do it. We were only gone for a minute. And when we came back. I love how skinny she is. She was gone. Like, Cops are here. I like two, two body types. We're going to go talk to them. But I like thigh gap skinny. Happy. Like I'm talking about skinny, skinny. And then I like thick. You know what I mean? Like. I don't know why it's so hot when you have a girl who's really skinny, like skinny, skinny. And then you have one who has like, you know, thick, who got, who got thick thighs, got a booty on her. Like those are my two body types. Really, really skinny. And then, you know, thick hourglass figure. Woo! Would like to help us get our Kimmy back? Then any donations would be greatly appreciated during very and she's a white woman. She's going to get all the donations. Come on now. He knew better to, than to be behind the camera. Please. They ain't going to give money to a nigga. Pray for us. Hey, cut. Them okay. white woman tears are gold, bro. Money makers. Whew. Yeah, well, I still don't understand why you're not the one making the video. No, no, no. So I just explained it. Trust me. People going to eat it up. I just hope that this idea works, unlike your other bad ideas. What bad ideas have I ever had? All right, there's been a couple. But... <laughs> Come on, no, 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 this one's different. I promise. A hundred thousand dollars got. Ooh, uh, why are you scare me like I that? I heard a knock. Oh no, it was, it was no one. Go, go back to uh, go back, go back to playing with your tablet. Come on. And, and make sure, make sure you put the uh, hashtag missing child. That'll get more views. <laughs> Another kid went missing. Yeah, no, it was, it was no one you know. You, you good, you good. <laughs> she has no idea. Oh, honey, do you love it or do you love it? I <laughs> love it. I'll take it. Are y'all for real with him? <laughs> do you want to get some shoes for that? I have these new strappy Dior's that are to die for. Oh, oh honey. <laughs> you know what? I'm okay. Hey, yeah, you uh, got—you gotta love his flair. Time, darling, and I'll see you up front. You gotta love the flair. 
I don't understand. Hmm. A couple days ago, you guys didn't have any money. And now you're shopping. This can't talk like a grown woman. Just because... Hey. Hey, what you she think? said like a grown woman sure, too. The hell? You 30? money did you spend? I don't know. A few grand. As in a few thousand dollars? Yeah. How could you do that? Wait, we... wait, wait, before you say anything. Look at this shirt. It says mo honey, mo right? problems. <laughs> How much? Woo! Yeah, we just hit another two grand. It's a pretty, it's a pretty nifty what idea, is, man. Oh, I cannot believe this. Last time I checked, we were. Hey, finish. I may have to do a GoFundMe go me right. for you, bro. You I'm gonna need you, need you to disappear for a little bit. Excuse me. Excuse me. I will take a look at the Dior's. Perfect. I'll bring them right in. You look like he chews cinder okay, blocks. So after this, I think we should go to. Shit. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me. Mm. Hi, uh, I don't mean to bother you, but you're the woman who lost her child, right? Uh, 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 yes. Yes, I am she. I'm so sorry. I, I look, 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 look. Even if this kid was to find out, let's let's think about this reasonably. What kid wouldn't be down to participate in this, especially since it's already happened? It's not like they have to start new and like she has to, you know, take pictures and this and that. Like, no, this is already up and running. So if the kid finds out about it, just just agree to cut her in a, a little chunk. You know, you already have 51K. Say you'll give her $5,000. You'll give her 10% of whatever it makes. And I bet you she will be down, bro, because... She's not missing. She's perfectly healthy. She's fine. And you're going to delete it before her mom comes to pick her back up. $5,000 to a kid, man? Or you don't even have to give her the money. You can tell her you could buy her something worth $5,000. That way, you're not giving a kid five grand. You don't need to give a kid five grand. That's just stupid. I can't imagine how difficult of a time this must be for you. Uh, those are not mine. They are his. We just decided to do a little shopping. Everything's been so stressful, you know, to ease the mind, quiet the heart. Uh, I see. Well, I hope the police finds your girl soon. Uh, Kimberly's her name, right? Ooh, I'm Kimberly. I'm for her. And if there's anything I can do to help, please let me know. Yeah. Well, you 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 can always donate donate. <laughs> You, you can always throw me some money. <laughs> we almost got caught and you have the audacity to ask her for money? Yeah, that was we stupid of you. Look, her mom's gonna be back soon. Let's get every dollar we can, right? Okay. <laughs> you should have just cut the little girl in on it. Cut her on right, in a little piece of that channel. action. Don't forget to do all of our online payments for our bills. Oh, yeah. And please keep an eye on Kimberly. Hmm? Gary, I am serious. I got, I got this. Don't worry. This. All right, Gary, we're trusting you on this. You can't actually for real lose the kid now. Hey, yo, what's up, bro? Hey, man, you trying to hit that Jake Paul and Ideas fight? Oh, my gosh, bro. <laughs> Damn, bro, we can't miss this, all right? All right, all right. Make sure you get your ticket. Hey, hey, I got to go. I already right, know Kimberly you gone. Buy your tickets, all right? My all right. All right. Kimberly yeah. long gone. What's up, babe? Okay, I see you did some damage. What's up, everything She don't know what that means. No. <laughs> I got recognized twice at the Chanel store. Okay, this is all getting really stressful, okay? This has got to stop. What? No, we just broke 50,000. Come on. Let's, like, wait a few more days. Come a few on. more days, right? <laughs> You're close to 100K. You might as well, right? Where's Kimberly? Hmm? You see how well this plan would have went Got if he never lost her? Again. They probably well, could have made away with 100K. Worthless employees, am I? No, no, no. The employee is not the problem, okay? You are the problem. You lost a kid twice right after I told you not to. What? What? You have two hours to deposit $50,000 into my account if you Ooh, want to or you involve the cops, I'll tell them about your fake missing child. Come now you gotta pay $50,000. 50, 
Well, we wouldn't even be in this situation if you had just kept an eye on Kimberly like I asked you to. I mean... All right, let's not point fingers, all right? Nah, Gary, this is your fault. There's more pressing matters. They could have $50,000, okay, guys. No, 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 That's a lot of money, bro. Just tell the cops. Well, tell the cops she's missing. They'll help find her. Everyone already thinks she's missing anyways. And then the cops will just show up and ask us why we posted a video days ago and then didn't report her missing until now. Great idea, Mr. Genius. No, we have to just give them the money, okay? It's our only option. Yeah, and give away everything we worked hard for? No way. Oh, I'm sorry. Would you rather go to jail? Because you will go to jail, bro. Come on, we gotta return this stuff. Yeah, listen, listen George. to your girlfriend. I thought his name was Gary. His name is George. Well, did you text him and tell him you wired him the money? Yes, I just... Still no response. Let me find out it's Kimberly who sent that message. I can't believe this. We really gave away all our money. What the heck? Ooh, campaign oh, shut down. The GoFundMe is deleted. Did you delete it? No, I haven't even been on the computer. No. Wait, the YouTube video's down too. Come on. That means no more donations. That means you're not going to make your money back. <laughs> really counting on some more money. Would you forget about the money? We need to focus on getting Kimberly back. Yeah, at least our bills are paid for the next couple months, so we should be fine for a while. You he didn't pay the did bill. Pay bills oh my gosh, bro! Gary! Gary! I'm Gary! Sorry, I, 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 <laughs> man, I, I spent the money on the fight tickets and the bro. Fun, I just thought we'd have more money in it. Gary! No I can't believe you. You are completely useless. But you're dating him, so what does that make you? Bad idea. Now, not only are we broke, but you're we're dating him, so what does that make you? Kimberly. I don't know why he isn't responding. I, I did everything that he asked. If he's useless, what are you? you know what? I'm gonna call him. Yeah, that's gonna work. This man, Gary, bro. Oh, what the heck? Was it really Kimberly who did this? Did Kimberly just get fifty thousand dollars richer? Hey. Why are you in my house? You? You? You kidnapped Kimberly? More like saved her. She told me all about your little scheme, about how you guys set up a fundraiser about a fake missing child. But why are you in my place, though? And considering how you treated me the other day, I told her I'd love to help her get revenge. Well, you extorted money from us. So, yeah, we created a fake missing child report. That doesn't mean you're some innocent angel. No, we, we want that money back. How yeah, about that? It's actually Kimberly's idea. She's very smart. Did she give it back to she the people? To get the money back to the victims. Ah! That's what I did for deleting your campaign. You have $50,000! Whoop his ass! Yeah. Tag me in! Oh my gosh! There was this notice on your door. These people are hustlers, man. Apparently, uh, you have to be out of here by 5 p.m. today. These people are not hustlers. Problems, considering that. Wait, no, no, no. You can't leave. No, you, you broke into our house. I'm gonna call the cops on you. You gonna give the money back? No need. They're already here. Oh my gosh, bro. And he taped a confession? Come on. Bro, you're supposed to be a daycare worker. What are you doing? Come on, let's go. This is your idea. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Nigga, you're supposed to be a fucking... Where, where the hell they are? Chuck E. T's toys are... He is a daycare worker. Dog, you gave the money back. 50 grand. Oh, my gosh. That would hurt my stomach. I would have to poo immediately. We got to talk to your mom about what kind of babysitter she's choosing for you. Well, she'll be here soon, so you can tell her yourself. Let's do this. Good stuff. You didn't even know that guy. He could have been just as worse. He could have really wanted the money. Mm -mm. All right. Jeez Louise, man. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, next up. Woody McQueen, thank you so much for that donation. He said there's a bar fight in the video called Police with Turban. Shamed. Ooh, there's a bar fight? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I may need to watch that. So we got Teen Forces Nerd to do group project. What happens next is shocking. Whoops. <laughs> Look at me. Hey, I'm Mick the Nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give those back, Julian? 
Can we read? Of course you are. Oh, wow, I didn't know the nerds like basketball. You know, my bad, man. Since you're such a fan, I'll tell you what. I got two tickets to the late game this Friday night. Want to go? He's messing with you. Wait, me? Really? Yeah. Okay, thanks, Jake. <laughs> you really think I'd be seen in a game with a loser like you? Nah. I'm going with Jessica. <coughs> oh, God. Um, I'm going with Jessica. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, <laughs> let's just jump right into it. Jessica, you need, a, you need a you need a better for yourself. Presentation due this Friday. Each of you will choose a partner and then do a report on one of the 50 states. This will be worth half of your grade, so please Damn, half my grade? do your best. <laughs> uh, go ahead and choose your partner. So I can show up for everything else and do everything else and still fail your class because I didn't do this one assignment. Julian? That doesn't can seem fair. For a second? Julian up to no good. What's up, Mrs. Baker? Um, you failed another test. This is Why they gotta write the F so damn big? Like, why? Damn, I get it. I failed. She wrote that F big as hell. <laughs> that kind of reminds me of like when the whenever the teacher was passing back, you know, the test or the quiz that you took, and then she folds yours like <laughs> she hands yours like then she folds it. <laughs> That's how you know you failed. <laughs> Bro, she wrote that F big as hell, bro. We get it. I failed. Damn. Damn, bro. <laughs> you failed another test. This isn't looking good. You know she wanted the whole world to know he failed. On this presentation, or you may not even pass my class. Uh -huh. It doesn't seem like he cares. Summer school. What? No. No way, I got big plans this summer. Street Fighter 6 is coming out. Mm -hmm. Diablo 4. Uh huh. Final Fantasy. Then Woo! That's the game I'm waiting for. Final Fantasy. Now, go choose a partner. <laughs> to ace this presentation. Go with the smart one. Don't go with Jessica. You'll never get any work done. Well, it seems like he already has a partner. Hey, yo, Nick. There's been a change of plans. You're partnering up with me for the presentation now. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I already have a partner. Jacob. Mm, no, Jacob, you're gonna have to find yourself a new partner because Nick's with me now, okay? What you waiting for? You just gonna, you just gonna take that, Jacob? <laughs> he bucked at you and you got up. Who could not be me? All right, hey, that was so messed up. Okay, so here's the deal. Uh, I need to get an A on this presentation and avoid ruining my life in summer school. How do I do that? By getting a nerd to do all the work for me. That's where you come in. Okay, this is your specialty. See where I'm going with this? I appreciate the offer. This ain't no I offer. Rather <laughs> have a choice. <laughs> so my partner. Right? It's like, you yeah, ain't signing up for this. You've already been signed up. Huh? Are you partnering up with Nick, Julian? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is my new best friend. Yeah, we have a lot in common. Like, we both, uh, we both like the Lakers. Isn't that right, Nick? That's so sweet. <laughs> then your guys' state will be California. Why this man Nick's eyebrows on fleek, bro? He got his eyebrows done? He got that little fade <sighs> action going on, right? on his eyebrows. Y'all see it? Of course, by that, I mean by hard work. <laughs> Life's good. Hey, uh, I finished the parts I was supposed to for the presentation. Did you work on yours? I'm not even a chance to work on. I was busy. Oh, uh, is that what you're working on right now? <laughs> no, he's playing Star Wars. <laughs> oh, you made me die! I thought I made myself very clear. You were going to be doing all of the work for me. Why do you think I would have made you my partner? But you stand up for yourself, like Nick. Cal, in Central Cal, you'd cover SoCal. I don't want to change my mind. I'll beat it. I told you I'm busy. Hey boys, how's your presentation? Julian, are you playing computer games the day before your presentation is due? You know how important this is, especially for you. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know. Don't worry about it at all, Mrs. Baker. Nick and I were actually just talking about how uh, the presentation is almost done. Ms. Baker has no be idea this kid's being Isn't bullied. <laughs> Look at Ms. Baker, she clueless. You can't do all of the work. <laughs> it is a group project. <laughs> 
have you contributed, Julian? Oh no, she's on to him. Yeah, no, of course I have. Yeah. She can smell the lazy. I'm actually spending the night at Nick's tonight so that we can finish it together. Is that true, Nick? Yep. Well, that sounds great. I think she knows Nick ain't bullied. <laughs> eh, maybe oh. not. Either way, you can't play games at school. Oh, yeah. Right. No. Understood. Okay. I've had I had a teacher that was just like Mrs. Baker. Hi. So happy I won't be out. Her name was Miss Danforth. <laughs> Love you, Mrs. Danforth. You know, you know those teachers who are understanding, but also like, you know, a little assertive, but like they're not mean. Like they're the perfect, you know, yeah. mixture. You just told Miss Baker that we're finishing the project at my house. There's no way I'll be able to finish it on my own, so I'll definitely need your help. Okay, yeah, whatever. See you tonight, at seven, right? Okay, beat it, man. Okay. <laughs> what a geek! <laughs> he said, "Beat it." You're gonna be like, "Okay." <laughs> See you tomorrow, bud. Hey, I thought you were supposed to be here like. Oh, he was sniffing that that that, that booger sugar. That baby showed up. Uh, I'm I'm just worried we're not gonna have enough time to finish the presentation and. Uh, where, where's your backpack? You got a PS5? What games you got? Oh my uh, god! I don't know. He's trying to play 2K and Madden right now, bro. Stop but it! I don't think we'll have time. You got 2K? What did I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Mom took away my Xbox until the summer. So <laughs> Niggas love 2K. Okay, video games. Okay, well, look, I don't think I have enough time. 2K and Madden, bro. Those are the games that they play, man. Just, uh, <laughs> minutes, okay. It's 2K or Madden, or sometimes GTA 5, bro. Niggas love 2K, bro. They love it. So, Come on, Nick. Uh, you deserve you. better. Uh, I'll take Los Angeles and. You can focus on San Diego. I want to go to San Diego. I've never been there. Julian? Julian, Dude, I, I what said- gives, man? Can't you see him in the middle of a game? Just, just start without me. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Oh, you playing Fortnite? Okay. Oh, got him. Okay, I be, I be getting that way when I play Fortnite. I ain't gonna Nick lie. Realizes I ain't that gonna lie. He didn't come over to help at all. He was a lot more interested in playing video games. Hours go by and Julian stays glued to the PS5 while Nick does all the work. Did you get a victory royale yet? Or you just been getting your ass handed to Even you? as Nick gets tired, he forces himself to keep working while Julian moves on to other games. Come on, Nick. Come on, Nick. Oh, it's the morning now. Morning, long after it's wild. Sleep, Nick barely finishes just in time to make it to school. I remember those all-nighters. I am so glad I'm done with school, bro. I will never want to do an all-nighter ever again. We learned so much about Florida. <laughs> All right, let's have... Like, this, this is one of the teachers that are, like, excited to be a teacher. You got to love them. You got to love these kind of teachers. Hey, after I use this presentation, we're going to celebrate the lake again tonight, okay? Okay. Let's go, Nick. Oh, he is dead asleep. Nick, Nick. <gasps> Did you get enough sleep, Nick? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, we were just both up late working on this, but he's fine. <laughs> Are you sure you can go to the nurse's office and get some sleep or go home early? I'm sure. No, honestly, no, he, he'll be fine. Just uh, give us a sec. Can I talk to you real quick? <laughs> <laughs> now. That's what, that's what your coach do whenever you get in trouble. What's going on with you? I need you to be alert. During sp what? Damn, bro, what the, all the snapping. I can barely keep my eyes open. We'll snap out of it, okay? Because you mess this up for me. It's not going to be good. He needs some booger yeah, sugar. You ain't got no more booger sugar? Y'all don't know what booger Sorry, sugar is. <laughs> all right, are you both going to be leading? or? Y'all don't know what booger sugar is. Your presentation. Uh-huh. Okay. All right, they got a little slideshow. All right, let's hear it for Cali, huh? Meh. Nah. <laughs> you all know me. And, Cali uh, cool and all, but it's not so Texas. Let's get started. Nick? Nick. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, 
right. Uh, is he actually gonna get away with this? Um, <clears throat> it's the third largest state. Um, sorry. Um, really? As a, I guess, technically, biggest is Alaska, and then uh, is Texas, and then California. Population is uh, by thirty-nine points. Nick, are you okay? You're not looking so good. Yeah, yeah, he's fine. He does this all the time. It's fine. Uh, Someone get this man some booger sugar. <laughs> Y'all know what booger sugar is? <laughs> uh, you need to go to the nurse's office. No, no, he'll be able to finish up the presentation. Just You need to go to the nurse's office. You can sleep there or they can send you home. Okay. I'm sorry, Miss Baker. Uh, don't be sorry. It's okay, Nick. Okay, well, you did uh, the project. He doesn't know anything. Do the presentation on another Not so fast. You said both of you were up late last night working on it, so you can just lead. Oh no, that is impossible because I don't have anyone to run the presentation. So it's just best. Oh, that's best okay. Thing. Just do it without the presentation. Tell us what you know. You, you don't know shit. <laughs> did the assignment, right? Yeah. He's like blast. So there won't be a problem. Start from the top. Yeah, she knows. She knows he did not do nothing. He didn't contribute uh, anything. Well, for starters, you're finna lose Jessica. She's gonna be like, Ill, you're stupid. State. You got that right. It is uh, a state. Uh, it's the fifth. Third. Third. third whoops. Third largest state. There you uh, go. With a population. Uh, Even I don't uh, know this. 39 point. Is that right? Probably not. He said it. Thousand people. <laughs> Thousand? Oh my God! Seven hundred people live in California. You're There's stupid, stupid. Three point nine million people just in Los Angeles alone. Do you mean thirty nine point seven million people live in California? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I meant. <laughs> that's, that's crazy. There's also. Yeah, you losing all your hoes uh, this time. <laughs> stuff to do here, like um, there's Universal Studios. And uh, Pink's Hot Dog <laughs> uh, Taco, Taco Tuesday. Uh, there's the Lakers, Los Angeles Lakers. This and, is 50% uh, of your grade, bro. Yeah, like I said, um, all the food's good and the weather's nice. And it looks like you're repeating this year. Pretty much all about it. Yeah. There's no way you pass this. Well, what about the geography and the history or ecology? <laughs> He's like this, bitch. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Help Nick with this project. Yeah. Yeah, no, I did. I did. That was not a confident yeah. I like, yeah, I did. <laughs> Julian! He's well rested. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I just woke up. Look at him, well rested. How do you think it went? The teacher's letting you retake, and I got an F, all because of you. Give me one good reason why she's punishing your face. Julian! Take your hands off of him right now. Hey, Woo! Mom, just... Ma yeah, Dukes in the building. <laughs> you don't mess around with black moms, man. Trouble, young man. You do First not mess around with black moms. The presentation today, and now I walk up on you bullying another student. What's wrong with you? Apologize to him now. Sorry, Nick. Like you mean it. I'm really sorry, Nick. I shouldn't have treated you like that. It's better. You're gonna have to. I'm really sorry, Martin. I just didn't want to go to Arizona. I'm talking to Miss Baker, <laughs> she and I both agree that the best thing for you. <laughs> Y'all not know where that's from. Summer school. Oh, summer school. Your summer's oh, over, bro. I get my Xbox back, and I can't just be stuck oh, in. No, 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 no. You're not about to get that back, not for a long time. If ever at all. Sweaty writer hand said, I'm eating Wendy's. So what did you get from Wendy's, bro? Did you get a four for four? No Xbox. You got, you got a, a bacon eater. Man. This is the worst day of my life. Oh, it's about to get worse. Yep. <laughs> she about to dump your ass. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, he can't go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll pick you up around seven o'clock. Wait a minute. Come on, Ma. Come on, Ma. You can't mess with the game. You can't mess with the game, Ma. I have to go. Just not after today. You know what? I have a great idea. No. Nick. Ma, this is my bitch. Be a Lakers fan by any chance. Ma, this is my oh, girl. No. Yeah, yeah. 
I love the Lakers. Would you be interested in going to the game? Maybe with Jessica. Really? Okay, my <laughs> the headphones just died, guys. They just died. Heck yeah! I've always wanted to go to a game. Heck yeah! Y'all can't hear him right now, but I'm just gonna let the subtitles play out. It's the best I can do. Sorry, guys. Headphones just died. <laughs> I'd love to. No, no, mom, you can't. I just did. Yeah, the mom gave the ticket away. Now give Nick the tickets. And Nick is gonna get with give Jessica. Nick the tickets now. Y'all probably can hear it like through the microphone. To your father hears about everything. Thank you. Look like you just got a new bit. Uh, you gotta come up. <laughs> he back, Jessica. How you gonna steal another man's girl? That's what Nick do. That's what Nick do. <laughs> Don't question the Nick. Riz over nine thousand. Ah! <laughs> Glitch T Y R. Thank you so much for that. I don't know, Prince. You gotta play Sonic Frontiers again. Sonic's birthday this month, and update two is gonna drop. Ooh. Sonic's birthday? How old is he? Yo, 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 yo. Sorry, guys, but yeah. Headphones died. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and cut it off here. Thank you to everybody who came out to the live stream. Thank you guys so much. Thank you to my boy, Finished. Make sure you are subscribed to him and you watch a couple of his videos because that boy supports the channel. So it's only fair we support him, right? I think that's only fair. Thank you to everybody who donated, who subscribed, who became a member. Yo, this was an amazing first stream back. Expect to get more streams. I'm going to be doing a lot more random live streams, the gaming live streams, a lot of live streams. And then I'm going to be starting up my second channel. So be on the lookout for that. I have a lot of exciting things coming. You know, being kicked off of YouTube for a week kind of put things into perspective of what I need to have accomplished and what I need to have done. And a second channel and more live streams is definitely on the list. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you to everybody who supported your boy, who sent kind messages, kind words to me. I'm back and I'm better and I'm not going anywhere. So, you know, if you were wishing on my downfall, <clears throat> sorry. <laughs> uh, but that was it for this live stream. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video. Because without further ado, that was it. My name is Prince of Hawkum. Stay charmed, my friends. Huh. Always got to end it off with a huh. <laughs> Peace.